And I'll be starting in just a second. I'm just tinkering with my headphones. It's just taking an extra second to put them on. 
because of course it is. But I am here. <laughs> right, we're almost there. Okay. Crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't hit the correct. Didn't hit done when changing the stream information before getting started. <laughs> Fiddling my ear headphones. But there we go. All right, let's try this for the first time. Greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph. I'm going to be playing some Fallout today. Not Memories of Celsetta. Although, depending on how long we stream, who knows? Maybe we'll move on to. Maybe we'll move to Memories of Silzada if we're looking for a little bit of variety today. But I'm, I'm thinking today it's just going to be a nice, chill Fallout 4 stream where I uh, try and get some Ballistic Weave and deal with the various uh, needs of the Railroad as we get affiliated with them as a faction. And so, wow, it's been probably a good week. This week was an interesting week. Uh, so yeah, didn't stream Tuesday or Thursday. I thought I'd stream one of those days. Uh, but as far as getting things started here, last time we played Fallout, we did uh, max out McCready's affinity as a companion. Uh, so now that we have kill shot, we have an extra like 10 or 20% chance to hit in VATS. So we'll land headshots a lot more regularly than we would have prior to that. It's an amazing perk. It's one of the reasons why we kind of put up with McCready's shit. And so the next one that made the most amount of sense was Deacon, so we can get well acquainted with the railroad. We have Deliverer, the best vanilla weapon, primary weapon in the game, in my opinion, uh, at least for a stealth playthrough. It kind of comes with a silencer already. It's a nice little Walter PPK. It's a cool weapon. Um, we have a modded weapon so we're just going to keep sticking with that we managed to get that off of a gunner at the very base of mass fusion so until we find something legendary that's better than that uh, i think we'll just keep i think we'll just stick with that for now and without any further ado yeah uh we might do some name we might even do some main plot today who knows when but anyway let's get started i also tweaked a few of these mods and i think i have eliminated most of the really egregious stutter and I, I pretty much narrowed that down. So that's good. We shouldn't have to worry about that any further. There we go. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get this party started. It's actually funny. We, uh, I actually had missed the magazine that's in the railroad's headquarters the first time we were here. So this time, I saved it looking right at it, so I couldn't possibly miss it. I also fixed the various issues going on with the HUD. So yeah, let's pick up Astounding Awesome Tales. There we go. We're going to do permanently five, do 5 more percent damage with the Cryolator, which I am notorious for forgetting entirely. Let's take a look. What, what quests are we going to be doing? All right, so we need to do Mercer Safe House, and we do have... Butcher's Bill. Oh, we also have a level up to do. Let's take a look and see what level up we even want to do. We don't need to bother with that hacking one. Because um, we can always just exit out of it and just come back. It might get we might start getting time to do uh building these at workshops. Would be nice to get to Blitz at some point, but now that we're getting closer to Ballistic Weave, let's yeah, let's get armor. That's important. We're going to need armor. We're going to need chemist, I believe. I vaguely remember us needing to do chemist. Okay. So, yeah, hangman's alley. And then we have also have to do a dead drop. So let's see. Where's the dead drop? Okay, the dead drop's going to be just south of the Mass Bay Medical Center. All right. So I'm thinking we'll leave the church. We'll go get this dead drop. It's going to send us... It should send us somewhere up here for that dead drop. Uh, and then we could get Hangman's Alley. We could do that area that it's going to send us to. And then we could just circle back. I think that'll be a good plan to start off this stream. Well, let's do it. All right. Let's head out. Oh, it must be late at night. These guys are asleep. Okay, so that's... Um, trying to remember where the exit is. So that's the way out normally. But they don't want you leaving by that route. They want you going out. There it is. Vaults? 
got too many teeth to be a scammer. <laughs> That's true. Duct tape, assume you're being watched. Always. We'll take duct tape. Uh. Yeah, sure, we'll take this hot plate. And if we really needed to sleep, we could have done that here. Oh, yeah, we'll take, uh, actually, yeah, we'll take those army fatigues. We have a purpose for those. Cool. Of course, they've got an escape tunnel here. What good spy organization doesn't have an emergency spy escape tunnel? Uh, yeah, we'll take the Nuka Cherry. Why not? In case I'm really desperate for it. I don't think there are any enemies in here. Hope there are not any enemies in here. But yeah, if there were, that explosive container would have been a real problem. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? It's been a while since I've done the escape tunnel, to be honest. Most of the time, I uh, just fast travel, which is obviously what I ended up doing the first time. Ooh, we've got a fusion core. Let's go get it. Okay, so I'm thinking gladiator. Yes. Yep. Perfect. So as you could see, kind of what I was talking about last time, the harder hacking modules are, in my opinion, way easier to do because they tend to have more text and so you have more to work with. It's um, kind of like cryptography. Trying to decode something that's only like 10 characters long is so much harder than trying to decipher something that instead is like, you know, 500 characters long. 500 characters is... Difficult, but possible. Ten is virtually impossible. Just because you could come up with just about anything that would fit that. And say, yep, I cracked it. Unless you were obscenely lucky. Probably didn't. <laughs> See, today's a beautiful... Oh, fuck. Got raiders close by, but at least they were so nice to tell us they were there. Okay, so the way out is here. Let's see where those raiders are. There. And so, the room below us. This is really bad. Oh, right. That's the railroad escape tunnel. Right. And this is just up. Where are these raiders? Damn. Probably that way. Let's not worry about them for now. <sighs> fucking thing. I'm not picking up a goddamn life preserver. That's fucking heavy as shit. Man. The game can be really atmospheric at times like this. We've already been through here a couple of times. Killed a bunch of ghouls. All right, let's uh, let's proceed to that dead drop, and maybe we'll discover a couple of locations while we're at it. That would be nice. We fought a bear out there before. A literal fucking mutated bear, Yao Guai. <laughs> that was uh, unplanned, <laughs> needless to say. Jesus Christ, maybe I should just clear out Haymarket Mall at some point. This might actually be a good time to do that. Because these assholes are just going to keep showing up and... Uh, repopulating out here. Although it looks like they're still clear. Alright. Yep, okay, they are. Good. We can speed up a little bit. Okay, then. So that just happened. <laughs> yeah, we're not messing around with whatever... That explosion was. Although I'm guessing we've discovered. <laughs> Unless you want me to stick you on top of the railroad's Christmas tree, let's go. Where did? Unless this is the fight we had before, but it certainly looked like. Yep, never mind. This this guy just blew himself up. That's why that's still orange and glowing. Cool. Okay. <sighs> Fucking super mutant suiciders. <sighs> sure, there's nobody over here. Nope, this looks clear. Nothing like sneaking through the ruins of Boston late at night. 
You'd be amazed how many times raiders or synths will camp out down there. We're going to skip that. Kind of a shitty place for a dead drop, honestly. They really put it in sort of a dangerous area. We should be able to head down this way. That's going to be something up there. We can't get to it. Down here at the bottom. Thought I heard something, but we did not. <sighs> How far are we away from it? Alright. Cruise over some rubble. Hmm. Okay, so I hear some bugs from in here. I see a super mutant over there. Great. Great. This sucks. You know, we really should adventure in uh, Good Neighbor a little bit, too. Get a really good weapon. Okay, post looks clear. And the reason I'm kind of stealthing along here is some of those areas are incredibly dangerous. And this is too, frankly. Gunners Central here. Gunners like to patrol this area. Ah, oh, fuck it. Alright, put it this way. The coast looks clear now. I think I can start moving around a little bit more. Whoops. Of course. Of course. Oh, ho, ho, thank goodness for the sneak attack there. God only knows what would have happened. When, well, I think we would have done all right, but um, it would have attracted a lot of attention. There should be a cool dude over here. Hey, buddy, what's happening? Hey, Slim. You got that look like you jonesing for something. See what you got. He does let us work, use his workbench. He's a cool guy. Sure. I got all the best stuff to hype you up or mellow you out. Let's see. He's got some, got some caps. So let's sell, let's sell him some of our drugs. <laughs> Don't need that much Radex. Yep. Perfect. Thanks, Slim. In case anybody needs those. There you go, buddy. Ugh. Damn, I can't get around. Uh, okay, so down away. way to go this way. We'll just go around the building. Probably a mailbox. Alright. Bobby pin box. We'll take that. Come on. Ah. We'll definitely take the office desk scan. Okay. Augusta is still dark. Location enclosed. Exercise extreme caution. Now we head west, and we'll go clear out Hangman's Alley. Assuming I can get unstuck from dog meat there. Hmm, it's the easiest way up. I'll be over this way. You know what, we'll just go right back through Slim's area. But I do think it's cool that it's like, hey, can I use your workbench? And he just lets you. So many people in the Commonwealth are just hostile at first sight. What a concept. People being a little neighborly. Oh god, there's this shit. Um... Yeah, they have fortified that pretty well. Let's just, uh... We'll just avoid this for the most part. I think we killed the raider that was in here before, but they may have replaced that sentry. Nope, doesn't look like it. Cool. Nope. They did replace that sentry. Okay. Never mind. They didn't see us. Ha ha ha. Goodbye. We'll go through the ruins this way. That's 
nothing in there. That's probably Trinity Tower. Yeah, let's just detect... We'll just uh, discover the location of Trinity Tower. Super Mutant fucking Central. Alright, fine. I'd really rather not get into a... Damn it. Damn it, Seraph. Nope. We're not getting into a fight with a bunch of Super Mutants right now. Go ahead, run. I need a break with you. <laughs> you even hear them complaining about disappearing. It's fucking hilarious. Good old super mutants. We already cleared out the church. That's probably hallucinogen. Don't need to worry about that at the moment. You know Hello what though? There. Hey, Freakbot, how are you, my friend? Just going through the Boston ruins. I forgot to hit the... Um, button uh to save my stream update before going live so it says uh, it said uh something about um salsetta i was like shit <laughs> i'll be playing uh east four tomorrow though yeah it happens i don't think i have enough overdue books for this yet but let's check return overdue books yes how many do we have spend tokens how many do i have Currently have 45. Yep, I am still one shy. I knew that. It's okay. At least now we don't have that book weighing us down. Nice. I'll be there for that. Oh, fuck. Now, this rain sucks. <laughs> life, uh, her fiction imitating life here. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to vats these. So I don't want to hit dog meat. Dog meat will take care of that one. Actually, dog meat will take care of that one, too. Come on, finish off that one. Oh, fine, I got it. <laughs> you got it, Deacon. Still suck in the building. Um... Still stuck in the big MT in New Vegas because that one fucking side quest just doesn't end. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Here, while we're while we're at it here. There we go. Let's see. Um, what am I doing? Oh, right. We're Yep, it is indeed sending us there. That's what I thought. So we don't need to do that anymore. But let's check our map. So what we want to do is we want to head out over this way. So yeah, let's just head north. Um, let's try it again. Head north. <laughs> Jumped almost seven levels since I started. Oh my god, seven levels. Holy shit. That's a lot for New Vegas. Oh my goodness. I mean, we've got a shit ton of levels uh, in this game at this point. Actually, I'll start picking up some supplies here. We're going to need them. Oh, and I'm already carrying too much. Awesome. So that wasn't uh, a great plan. Hey, Deacon. Psst, tell me what you want. You, I need you to carry a bunch of heavy shit. Yes. You could carry all this crap. Thanks. <laughs> That'll do. Well, all the DLC uh, ups the cap level cap as well. Well, that that's true. That is true. But even still, with the level cap, that's... Uh, I mean, I think that's that's still a lot for New Vegas, even with the level cap going on. Uh, let's see. What level are we in this game? Uh, we're level 36. But you, you get levels like candy in this game. I shouldn't say that. You don't get levels like candy, but... Um, it's very, it's a lot easier to get higher level in this game than it is New Vegas. Alright. So we're gonna go this way. I think there are raiders in here. Are there 
not raiders in here? Well, I hear a bunch of fighting. Nope, nope, Deacon. Ugh. Oh my god, guys. They love walking right into me right when I'm about to uh, leave a room. Ah, shit. I'm not going to be able to get out of here, am I? I need to be over there. Fuck. Ah, alright, fine. Fuck it. This is not really the way I wanted to go through this. Wait, I don't remember. Oh! Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. I never knew about this, I don't think. Let's see what you've got. Do you have anything useful? Oh, you've got an unused flip lighter. That's actually kind of cool. Actually, it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually. There we go. Uh, oh, you don't have enough. Give me that. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that trader was down there. All right. So now, I think the level cap is 50. Yeah. All right. So we discovered Hangman's out. Here's the issue. This area is crawling with super mutants. And I mean crawling. <sighs> Jesus, listen to all that. Someone's having a hell of a time. Holy fuck. I feel like I should be able to jump up on that. There we go. Uh, okay. Nope, we can't do that. So we got a couple of choices here. So we could go up to the other area and just snipe all these assholes, or we could just pick this lock. I'm thinking we'll just pick the lock. Let's just get in here. So one of the things you could theoretically do is just never pick these locks, and then nothing can even come yes. in from this side. But that that means you just never, ever come in through this way. And that's tedious. And I've decided after the last playthrough, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Let's see if they left anything useful for us. Got one more. Let's go hunt them. <laughs> and then we'll loot. Headshot. Takes care of that. Oh, it's not mar marking us clear yet. There must be one more. Guessing there's one more. Come on. Man, that lock was ridiculous. Sweet. Hey, Cleo. What you doing, kitty kitty? Interesting. Okay, never mind. We got it. Okay. Um. <clears throat> hey. Good dog meat. Okay, one thing we will do is I'm going to give him the fatigues. We're going to work with those later. Ooh, we picked up a sharp left leg at some point. Ooh, shit, I need that. That's awesome. All right, so... Yeah, I'll worry about that in a second. I'll figure, I'll figure out how I'm doing that in a moment. Hello, kitty kitty. I know, I love you too, Cleo. <laughs> She's obviously feeling better. That's what I wanted to do. Unused flip lighter. Okay. Hey. Yeah. The reason I'm giving um, dog meat that is so that I can 
when I want to have that as a decoration, like my own personal flip lighter, I now have a good one. The problem is it's junk, so anytime I ever put it in the workshop, like just do store all, it's going to toss that flip lighter in there and I'm going to lose track of it. Not that I'm speaking from, you know, experience or anything. So that's one of just one of my tricks. I just give it to dog meat so I don't have to worry about losing it. Okay, so now... Hello, Cleo. Hi. You might want to wipe the blood off anything you find there. <laughs> My feline co-host has arrived. <laughs> yes, I know. I love you too, cat. I know. Okay. 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 She's biting my leg. Sorry. <laughs> she really, really, really needs some attention at the moment. Okay. Hello, honey. Hello. Y you would think this cat were, uh, you know, deprived or something. I spent pretty much since six o'clock waking up, except for a nap in the afternoon. Um, I have done nothing but pet and play with this kitty kitty, <laughs> which I do not regret because she is awesome and super fun. But... You would think, based on this, <laughs> I, like, didn't give her enough attention. You have had plenty of attention. Yes, I know. Yeah, I know. You get all the pets. You get all the pets. Hey, Rob, how are you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm dealing with a cat right now. <laughs> are you right there, cat? All right. Let's try and... um. Let's try and salvage some of that. Yes, I know. Yep, rub your face on everything. I know. I know. Okay, hello. Okay. Yes, I know. I love you too, cat. Oh my god, cat. I love you too. Yes, okay. Yep, we'll scrap that. We'll scrap those. Okay. We're not going to scrap those because those are useful. Uh, that we might keep. This is just crap. We'll take the rubber. Uh, these aren't useful. They can't, can't even be sat in. Uh, that can't be used. That's crap. Okay. I remember kind of going through here what's useful and what's not. There's a lot that's just not very useful, unfortunately. Okay. So first and foremost, let's go where things tend to like to show up. Go over here first. Build a couple of turrets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That'll do. Ooh, we can build five of these guys. We should be able to build. There you go. Fine. That will do. We'll report back to Pam, but we can still use more defenses up here. Come on. There we go. There's another. Can I build one up here? I think I can make this work. No, can't make that work there. Can't make that work. Ooh, yes. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We'll go with, uh, you know what? That'll be fine for right now. Because that usually that's where, that's where this shit's kind of necessary. Okay. So now we just report back to Pam later. Oh, look at that. Some dude here. <clears throat> do, do you got a Geiger counter bug? Mine is in the shop. Y your HQ's new gal, right? Thanks for setting up this place. Kind of wish you would have set up a cot or something, but at least it's safe, right? It is it, <coughs> safe, right? <laughs> Are you all right? You seem a little jumpy. I've had too many close calls. I used to work at HQ like you, but after the last HQ went lights out, I just had to get away. Enough about me. We got a package incoming. You know, Package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route. Got a new guy. New tourist that's gonna help. He, he He's all ready to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up, and our package has got a nice cozy shack to lay low in. We'll go with this, because I think Deacon will like this answer. If it'll help a synth, count me in. I knew I could count on you. I wish I could tell you what you're going up against. Uh, but I got no idea. I'll mark it on your map. Oh well. Go there and do what hurt to try. HQ types do. Then Kate's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. There we go. All right. So how are your weekend's going, Monsieur Rob and Freakbot? Life is good. Actually, we can undo the chains on this too. Fuck it. 
again, could be a little more secure if I had just never done that, but I've been there, done that. I'm not doing that again <laughs> as far as uh, uh, keeping that. Yeah, wishing would it, wishing it would rain. Oh, oh, just wait. <laughs> it poured up here. <clears throat> really? Sorry, it looks like uh, looks like I hogged all the rain. <laughs> Man, we got a crap ton of it. Holy smokes! Yeah, poured everywhere. <laughs> yeah, figures right. You actually want the rain? Oh, looks like the raiders are back up there. Oh, really? Do we fuck these guys up? Nah, let's not bother. <laughs> Come on, Deacon. No. Oh, fuck. We're going to get drawn into this shit. Fine. Got me. And here I thought we were going to get through this. That's all right. Hey, asshole. Oh, you were saved by cover, little bastard. Okay. This is why I didn't want to have this fight. <laughs> this is why I did not want... Okay, got rid of that raider in the power armor. Hello, kitty kitty. I know. I'm having a fire fight right now. You gonna cuddle up on my foot? You gonna cuddle up on my foot? There we go. Kill shot. <laughs> Hey, Imperial Crosshair. There we go. Welcome. Welcome back. How did you end up all the way over there, you asshole? Oh, of course he's a legendary, too. It's going to make me go all the way over there to get him. Bastard. Well, let's find out what he has. <laughs> It's like Boone from the Legion. You have zero chance of diplomacy. <laughs> yeah. That's funny because usually Deacon is pretty stealthy. Uh, okay, there we go. Now oh, we got an unyielding piece. Uh, that works too. Okay. Sure, let's take the coffee tin with the aluminum. Now, why that guy? <laughs> but for me, that's McCready. Um, he, he just always fucking shoots shit. But yeah, but Deacon usually has some chill. Not this time. Nope. <laughs> so congrats on the uh, change of username. I know you've been trying to do that for a couple of weeks now. Let's at least get some loot for our trouble since we had to come through here. Okay, that was actually really nice. Let's see. Oh, we already did. Re... Uh I'm a soldier of the Empire is one of my favorite lines from Crosshair. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got it. Ah, flame or fuel. That's just pure fuel. Or that's just pure money for me. <sighs> Unfortunately, this area, no matter how many times I go through here, never seems to uh, get marked as cleared. So unfortunately, every time we come through here, Yep, it's still not cleared. So in like three days or something, three in-game days, this fucking place is going to be riddled with assholes again. Well, at least we got ammo. That's fine. All right, now we can resume our course. <coughs> Dude. Let's see, what do we got? Yeah, let's eat some Yagwai ribs. And while we're at it, let's take some rat away. There we go. Now we'll be at full health. So I was experimenting with the UI after I repaired it. Uh, now the, X, the XP mark will actually be in the correct place. Yeah, sure. Well, let's take the skull bandana. What you doing, kitty? Hi. You got your toy? Oh, 
you got your toy. You're so cute. <laughs> uh, my cat never ceases to be a source of unending entertainment. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so while we're going north here, we actually have to go to that hospital marker. But while we're up here, let's at least discover some of these other locations. And we could at least also get some pre-war money. Anything else over here? Yeah, sure. Let's grab this crap. There we go. Ooh, get him. No, I didn't want the yellow plate. Eh, I wanted the fork. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> it is pretty warm out. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Killed you guys already. Oh, shit. Okay, ooh. Yeah, we'll take the glass. Stupid ass super mutants. Cool, we'll take that. Nice little robot model. We'll decorate our, uh, one of our primary residences with that. <clears throat> okay, moving on to the, uh, so this is kind of like Fallout's version of MIT. It's called CIT. This ends up being a particularly interesting area. Cracked, gra uh, cracked glass. I'm surprised how much cracked glass they've got. I wonder why the soup mutants keep picking up these glass bowls. Whatever. Okay, I don't really want to go into the Cave Ridge Diner at the moment. Don't need to worry about that. Let's just keep moving our way this way. Well, <laughs> super mutant. Oh, there we go. Nice little sneak attack. Oh, they were fighting Mirelurks. Interesting. Oh, there's a nice little Mirelurk nest down there. Shit. I probably have been down there before, but since I don't remember what's down there. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> sure, we'll take Yao Guai meat. Jeez, man. A lot of glass. Yeah, let's jump check this out. Nothing like a little random side quest. Kill most of these little bastards. Fighting time. These guys aren't even worth the ammunition. Still stupid little mutated crabs. Alright, fine. Dog meat's in the fucking way. Kill you. <clears throat> now we got you. Eggs. We can make some pretty nice stuff out of that. Oh, you, you little know, fuckers. Ammo isn't cheap. Can we just pay <laughs> Which one is hitting me? Oh, you're under the water. Come on. We live to Fine. fight another day. And night. And day. Etc. etc. Probably a plenty of ah, the time honored tradition of looting. Okay. So it was just Meyer Lurk eggs. Ooh, but there's some Nuka Cola Quantum. We'll take that. Woohoo. Now we crawl out of here. And we're almost to the hospital, which was Augusta Safe House. 
Oh yeah, we should probably clear out that uh, church while we're at it. It's an unmarked location, so we may as well do it while I'm thinking of it. Okay, this is... There's always some raiders in here. I don't see the... Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, that's, a, that's enough out of them. Do, do, do. I'll take the shotgun shells. Sure. There's rarely anything of value in these areas. There's just a couple of raiders. It kind of sucks that she got the jump on me there, but especially when I knew she was there. Oh, well. We'll clear out this church, and then we'll go into the uh, hospital. There's another way in. Which I'm forgetting at the moment where it is, clearly. <laughs> Cooking oil is always nice. It's not all that heavy. It has oil. There are usually ghouls out here, and there they are. Don't look. But I think we're being watched. We got fun time incoming. New business model. We team up with a mortuary. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this, right? Fucking Deacon, man. He is such a character. <laughs> I mean, all the companions have some pretty funny dialogue, but his always kind of cracks me up. Okay, so we're going to pick this lock. So close. That's probably going to be it. Oops. Nope. I needed to go the other direction. There it is. That's it. Hey, Darkstar. Lots of bees! <laughs> Gotta be. How are you, Dark Star? How's your weekend? Good old Father Gabe, who is hostile. Oh fucker! Alright, we got ourselves a nice little fight here. There it is. The kill shot. <laughs> yep, the build, the button does work. You had to test it. <laughs> we got one more. You did hear something. I put a bullet into the center mass. Alright, so we got some... Uh, we got some ghouls. This wonderful little unmarked location. How's your weekend going, Dark Star? Let me guess, it rained up by you too. <laughs> we're we're tabulating who it's rained on, except for Freakbot, who actually wants the rain. <laughs> so yeah. Why Father Gabe is hostile, I don't actually remember, but I think there's something around here that kind of explains what kind of crazy shit he was up to. <laughs> be cool staying cool <laughs> he could have had that rain that we all and we all said the same thing <laughs> it's so fucking funny <laughs> oh man yeah I've never let's see let's see if I could track down what father Gabe's deal is but I don't think there's any real clue in here I'll take the bobby pin and it's a buff out I could sleep in here if I were so inclined. He's got bottle caps. But yeah, he doesn't. Other than the pipe sniper rifle and the shotgun. Kind of neat. He's got some silver, but yeah, that's all there is in here. I've always wondered why Father Gabe is just so hostile. <laughs> no idea. But anyway, whenever I see that church, it's like, hey, time to take care of Father Gabe. Now that we've dealt with that, let's take care of Augusta. 
So just to clue everybody in, the railroad has sent us here to check on Augusta safe house. And so we are indeed doing that. We are doing a nice little follow-up. See what's going on. Now we should be finding a railroad uh, safe house. Ooh, there's a crate. What's in that crate? And dog meat and deacon just opening doors again. Okay, so we gotta hack this terminal. We'll do that. Because we like XP. But there's also another nice... Oh, God damn it. So it's not D... BH. Okay, well, let's just go back into it. I know there's a like a legitimate way to do it, but it's sometimes it's just faster to Damn, really? Yeah, I mean I couldn't even really get started on that. Yeah, we're getting some bad RNG here. Usually it will eventually be one of the first three. There we go. Like that. I never had the patience to muck around with terminals. Oh, did I not unlock the door? Yes. Okay. Here's why we do that. I don't know why I'm whispering. He can't hear me. <laughs> take the bottle cap mine but yeah that's one of the reasons why you would uh, pick that uh, pack that door so you can get that guy from that direction oh, fucking a seraph Fucked up missing that shot. Although it was nice that he came right to me. <laughs> Normally, I'd have to come all the way over here and then get him over here. Yeah, we'll take money. We like pre war money. We'll definitely take bottle caps. Bottle caps are even better. That's real money in this, this fucking hellhole. Come <laughs> To find the railroad, got to train your eyes. <laughs> I like that, right? <laughs> hey, Ghosty, how's your weekend doing? We'll take those for the circuitry. No sign of them now. Yep, I'm totally gone. I killed all your friends and just left. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll pass on the freaking lamp. It's not necessary. Well. So, obviously, things did not go well for the railroad agents. <laughs> we will go over, and we are going to pick the lock, because I like XP in all of its forms. Nice. Good. <laughs> I love the added, I think, <laughs> I think it's going well. Oh, geez, so if I had missed all those shots, those would have exploded. Ah, so if I had uh, overdue books, I could have cashed in the um, tokens there. So that's the nice part. If I find overdue books, I can cash them in at any machine. I just need to spend the tokens at the one at the library to get the magazine over there. All right, so we know there's somebody else over here. It could be through there. He's not. Mm-hmm. Where is our... Is that you? Yes, it is. Oh, apparently he likes sneak attacks. <laughs> as soon as I got that sneak attack off, Deacon wanted to talk to me. All right, so we'll go down and we'll talk to Deacon real quick. That's funny. 
I mean, unless it was just good timing. But the fact that we got a sneak attack and he immediately wanted to talk to us, I think he maybe that means he likes he likes it when we sneak attack. That would be pretty cool. Yep, there's a synth. Those aluminum canisters are usually not worth my time. They're too heavy. All right, Deacon, where the fuck are you? I want to talk to you. Take the jet. There's an assault rifle. Take the Thames. Okay, Deacon, where the fuck did you get stuck? Oh, good grief, Deacon. One of those things sometimes <laughs> break in order to be fixed better days. Ah. Uh, Deacon, where the hell did we leave Deacon? Ah, there you are, buddy. All right. Hey. Sure. I We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. I fucking love this. <laughs> Do you really think I'm going to fall for this? Fall for what? Haven't you noticed that when I say the word, Desdemona does a 180? Hey, there's an intruder. No, I vouch for him. Then welcome. Every time. It works best that way. Gives me room to maneuver. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good. Saved a lot of sins. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're going to hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're going to spoon feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're going to pay for it. Thanks for the advice. I don't know if it's your good old-fashioned pre-war values or you just won the genetic lottery, but anyone that has you in their corner has an advantage. And at the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. All right, we're moving right along with his affinity now. Let's turn off our flashlight. Proceed deeper. So at this point, I think we've already figured out <laughs> what the hell happened to all these fuckers. But we need definitive answers. Uh, wait, did I pass it? I passed it, didn't I? Yep. I ran right by the elevator. Yeah, we're going to lose track of Deacon here. He's not going to follow us up the elevator. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys? <laughs> now there's one. Good old hunting rifle. You might want to focus on the valuable salvage. Oh, but wait, there's more. Wait, I don't think we can go past this, can we? Nope. Oh, we'll take cigarettes and a telephone. Now, the question is, where did that... He's over there somewhere. Nothing there now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, nice. And it's dripping. That's a nice touch. I don't know if I ever noticed that. <laughs> oh, fucking raiders, man. Okay, that one was important to get a nice little headshot off of. Come on, 
on. Give me... Give me any possibility here. Okay, fine. Come on up. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Get warmed up over here. You know, I do like oh. that's an attack dog. That's not dog meat. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, let's pick this lock. At this point, stealth is going out the window. Let's just clear this room. Mm, I think I went too far. Just there, maybe. There we go, we got it. Sweet. Although, boy, is that bobby pin going to break in a second. Ah, oh, man, come back. I was having fun. Thanks for talking shit, dumbass. <laughs> There we go, we got our Augusta Station last update. Well, we can report back to Dr. Carrington. Place is fucked. Well, there's still one last thing to do. Where is this asshole? Oh, there you are. There you are. Take the, ooh, magnifying glass. Sweet. Take 10 millimeter ammo. Yeah, they got tons of shit here. Lead pipe? I don't need a lead pipe. Let's see. I want to make sure there's no magazine in here. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I think this is just one big circle. Yep, it is. Took me about an hour to go find a free video editor and get it chopped up. But I turned the Abraham Lincoln sketch from the whitest kids you know uh, into over a dozen clips ready for you to throw down alerts. Oh, that's going to be glorious. Hmm. Got it. Someone there? Hmm. Yes. But I didn't know you were there, so I appreciate you uh, pointing yourself out. That was pretty badass. Oh, right, I forgot. Oh, I can't do that while in combat. Yeah, let's go take out this turret. That can't turn towards me. No need to hide. I'll be over soon. Oh my god, there's still another one out here somewhere? Pain in the ass. He's down there somewhere, huh? <sighs> when you turn up, you're dead. Where the fuck is this asshole? Could just jump down. Oh, there you are. Okay, thank you. Now then. <laughs> now then, we were, before we were so rudely interrupted, let's go in here. Yeah, plus agility. Yeah, we'll keep the vats for sure. We really don't need that acrobat. Yeah, we'll scrap that. That's what we were looking for. Instead of that, let's go with you. And we'll put sharp on you. Yep. Beautiful. Hell yeah! Okay. So we've already noticed a couple of uh, disturbing things. A lot of caps and money laying around around here. Come on. No, it's not going to let me jump over that. Okay, now I can get down. We're going to find even more. I love old world and it's like, worth why are these things here? <laughs> And we're about to find out. Shotgun shell, jet, psycho. Take that. More money. I like money. There's nothing else in here other than a bathroom. 
correct? Yep. Okay. Now we deal with what's really down here. The really terrible thing. <sighs> Pretty neat that you can interact with that. Yeah, we'll take the coffee cup. Fuck it. Okay. <sighs> yep, let's do this. Down here we go. Railroad agent. There we go. Belly action. The belly is where the death claw is at its weakest, not its head. Oh. It moved to the point where uh, the wall fucking protected it. There we go. Okay. Thankfully, Dogmeat held it up. Alright, into the spoils go me. We don't need that. But we will take our fusion core. And a button. Sufficient power, right? We have to power this place on. Oh, gas can. Sweet. Yeah, sure, why not? Normally I don't bother picking up a, um, right. So theoretically, if you were too low level and didn't have a high caliber weapon to deal with the death claw, you could run over here, hit the power, and then run for your life and escape the death claw out this way, which none of the railroad agents ever managed to do. We'll take that. We certainly are picking up a good amount of stuff. We'll probably want to go over to uh, the castle soon and uh, drop off some of these extra weapons and that we've accumulated. Yeah, let's just pick up all that shit. We already soaked up all those rads anyway, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to check out your next uh, stream and see those uh, video alerts then. Oh, sound alerts rather, sorry. Yeah, those sound like they're going to be fucking funny. All right. Gotta get rid of these bars first. Oh, yeah, there's another bar. All right, where are these bugs? Oh, wow, there are no bugs waiting for me? I've never come out of there. I am not a gift. I am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> I've never walked out of there without a billion fucking mutated mosquitoes. Blood bugs, stinglings, whatever. Not accosting the ever-living shit out of me. That's fucking awesome. Okay, cool. Ooh, icebox. These almost always have ammunition in them. These do not. Okay. Hey, Deacon. Oh, they're video. Oh, good. <laughs> That's gonna be great. Heads up. What's oh, man. All right. So yeah, you. You can carry heavy shit. Okay. Right, so there's that. We have two quests to turn into Railroad HQ now, so why don't we do that, and then we'll figure out what else I'm doing. Eliminate the threat at Parkview Lounge. Okay, we'll have to do, well, do we want to just do that now? Well, let's take care of that after we get out. We'll report these. Oh, Corvega? No, we're not doing that right now. Finch Farm, Lost Patrol. Oh, right, we had to report back to Ballad of Dance. Let's do that. Uh, no, we don't do... Yes, let's let's do the optional thing. Let's do the optional thing, especially since he's right over here. Let's do some... Right away. Let's deal with that. And of course, if this were survival, now we'd be dehydrated and God only knows what else. I think most of that weight was the um, the milk bottles we picked up. I realize when I'm watching another stream, I had to use the extension section of Sound Alerts dashboard as a secondary stash of alerts. Oh, I didn't realize. Section section. Oh, that's actually really cool. I did not know that either. Badass. Since those can only sit to bits for cost, the price is a low, low goose egg for now. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, that's kind of what I would like to do, is do, like, some pretty advanced ones. Um, and then set them for, like, you know, like, bits or whatever. That'd be, that would be kind of neat, I think. You're back. 
Any word on the patrol? <laughs> Sorry, what patrol? <laughs> the recon team was ambushed. They scuttled their own power armor to keep it from being captured. There were only three survivors. What a loss. But they did what they had to do. Our technology must be protected, no matter the cost. Anything else? Their camp was overrun by ghouls. Knight Aslan died defending it. Aslan? She was in my company once. Best marksman I ever saw. Damn it. Let me know what else you discover. All right. We don't need to do any of these right now. Actually, I'm trying to remember. When was the other... Right, Wilson Automatoys Corporate AQ. There's a reason why we're we are dealing with that in all. There's an order of operations for that. We need to go to the slog first. Okay, so at this point, let's just fast travel to Railroad HQ. Come on. Are you not good? Thank you. <laughs> like, why won't it just go? We're not gonna level up from these two quests, but we'll get pretty close. And of course, the main objective of all this is Ballistic Weave. We got to do a couple of quests for Pam first, though. Hey, you. Randolph's safe house has been MIA since Switchboard. But now we got one of the dead mm. tags. Des wants you to check it out. I hope this means Randolph is safe after all. It'd be nice to get some good news for a change. Once you take care of the dead drop, report him to Des. There we go. This is a nice little sub, kind of like B-plot for the railroad. All hand that lost at Augusta's safe house. When it rains, it pours. Augusta's safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of files to be put out. Go. We like money. We definitely like the XP. Uh, I think we need to do. Where I just signed on. Diamond City is under opposition. Means I might get to take the occasional night off. Yep. Um, what else did I need to do? Oh right, report back to Pam. We're all the synths got. Setting human machine interface to one hundred percent. Good evening. Agent, my data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a black. There we go. Stash. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cash from any hostels in its vicinity. Pre war cash, huh? This will be interesting. Unable to process verbal response. The cash is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cash upon close proximity. Nothing is ever that easy. There's an approximately 85% chance that the cache is in a highly dangerous location. I advise caution. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Oh, that's a terrible location to send me. Oh, fuck. Out of the well, wasteland. That's bullshit. We need to do that, though. So the problem is for Ballistic Weave, we need, um... Eh. So we need to do two of those for Pam. And, uh... Shit, man. That's just bad luck. Oh, that is such bad luck. That fucking sucks so much. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. That's alright. That's alright. So the reason why the Ruined Skyscraper is a shitty location is it can be a real challenge to get to. But that's all right. That's all right. Um, assuming it's the one I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. 
Uh, so we got a dead drop to pick up. We got to eliminate the threat at Parkview Lounge, which makes sense that that would be the one for concierge. It's actually really close by there. We probably should have done that. We need to just cash in that one, set up Mila over there. Not the end of the world. Yep, it is exactly the one I thought it was. Okay, let's see if Seraph remembers how to get up there because it's a it's a very fucking goofy way to get up there. So the ruined skyscraper, the way you access it is from the highway up there. And it's a total pain in the ass to get there. But let's see. Maybe I'll remember how to get up there. But boy, oh boy. Ugh. So the second one is almost always um, Hub 360, and that's the one you get Ballistic Weave from. Well, you need to do two Butcher's Bill missions, and then you need to do that. So we may as well just do these. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought. We might end up maxing out Deacon before we even get to the Blade Runner mission, or what I affectionately call the Blade Runner mission. It's actually really awesome. But yeah, they're getting... They're getting us. They really got us with that one. That one fucking sucks. Ugh. All right. So, there are a couple of different ways up there. Oh, hell no. That wasn't in the script. That's not what I wanted to grab. You know that? That's also not the way I wanted to go. I want to go this way. I don't want to be fighting raiders at the moment. Let's go this way. Okay, so, but yeah, that's, so that there is the ruined skyscraper. Sort of see it. Um, not doing the greatest job here. Yeah, that's, I think that's the ruined skyscraper, but we have to get to it from this highway, right? Or is it up there somewhere? Yeah, it might even be up there. Might even be over on that side. But yeah, it's a total pain in the ass to get to. It is a beyond pain in the ass to get to. Fucking. Oh, man, that sucks. I can't believe it gave us that location. It really, really stinks. I'm surprised nothing sent us to Funeral Hall, uh, Funeral Hall yet. But um, we'll eventually get a side quest for that. But yeah, um, and of course, pathing to it is an absolute nightmare. So, the way, best way that I remember getting to that... Wow, I didn't even see these guys. Man, survivalist is being a real pain in the ass here. Well, at least we're getting tons of ammo. Where are the rest of them? Not really? You didn't have anything better? Okay, fine. That sucks. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the actual... It's one of these buildings, and I think it's this one. Nope, that's... Th that's... That's... 60... Uh, 35 quart. Doesn't do us any fucking good. You know what? Maybe... Maybe we could get at it from this direction. I don't think we can. But... We can try. Try. I don't think I've tried coming up here to get to it. Uh, let's see. Well, maybe... Maybe. Work our way over here. Nope. Nope, this was a waste of time. This was indeed a big waste of time. What? Now Good that's goodness. just annoying. Is this way down here? Whoops. <sighs> wow, that was uh painful, but I managed to survive that fall. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the martyrs uh, thing does indeed work. Get that out of there. Bastards. 
bastard. Any more of these assholes? Yeah, I didn't even want to be over here. And I don't think going up that way solves my problem. Well, I'm glad I wasn't over there when that blew. Okay, let's head let's head down this way. Good. Raiders are still dead from this area. Alright, so what we need to do is get onto the highway. And then once we... Oh, that's a fucking fire alert. Don't mean to make... Really? Let's see if they left anything useful for us. And in this case, fuck it, Deacon. It's not worth our time. Get some, motherfucker. Will make you jittery. Sure. There's Hub 360, which we will definitely want later. Yep, Mass Bay, that's what I want. I'm pretty sure. Aww, we were having such a good firefight. Really, Rad Scorpion? I do not need your shit right now. <laughs> Probably Super Mutants fighting. Oh. Seems we have a tail. Not anymore. Let's see. Uh, I put a link to the chopped up video on my server streaming chat channel. Oh, yeah, dev I will definitely check that out. For sure. All right. All right, it looks like we're taking care of Mass Bay here. I am almost... Worth a fair amount too. Almost positive that this is the way up. Oh, I hope so, man. Fucking gunners. Okay, and hopefully Seraph is right. Getting the ruined skyscraper sucks so much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, handcuffs. Sweet. Ooh, we'll take the dirty army fatigues. We'll make, uh, we can make uniforms out of that. Take more glass. We'll definitely take that. Right, nothing else here is useful salvage at this stage. We're beyond the point where we're just taking everything. Nobody here? Good. Perfect. We'll definitely take the buff out. And up we go. There's an assault trine around here somewhere. I'll take the Yeah, we'll take the office. Or uh the desk fan. Pick this lock. Oh, we appreciate that. Nice. Fucking got some of my Minutemen. That sucks. Well, I may as well take the Minutemen light outfit. I shall take the militia hat too. I can always give that to, uh. We can always give that to a new one. Not going down that. That's the Assaultron at the top of the stairs. Hopefully the Assaultron doesn't come and investigate what I was just doing. Whoops. We'll take the battered clipboard and brain fungus. Alright, now I think I can move around. I don't think anybody's over here. Take that. Cut that. Sure, we'll take a can. <laughs> Definitely take the microscope. Microscopes are awesome. And those are pretty light. Here we'll take the empty blood pack. Brain fungus. Brain fungus usually forms in an area where you get uh, a lot of radiation. Okay, that was annoying. I appreciate the lurk freak, but we'll see you when you get back. That's it. Yeah, this place is pretty neat. Huh. One of the more interesting rooms. 
where uh, you get this creepy mannequin over a uh, clearly what was cremation pit. Lovely. And a flamer if I needed it, which I do not. I actually am not a big fan of the flamer. Now we can head back. Now we deal with the Assaultron. A little bit more. We got it. Yes. Just more micros microscopes. Microscopes are heavy, but they're super rare. And they've got rare components in them, which are really nice. So I'll just be picking up stuff like this until uh, till we get maxed, until uh, we get encumbered. And then I'll give Deacon pretty much everything, and then I'll be much more selective. Oh, you picked up a rifle. You did not have that scope a few minutes ago, buddy. <laughs> Why burn when you could freeze it? Yeah, right? I do need to pick up the Kyra later. I, so, I frequently forget to pick up that weapon. All the time. Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. There we go. Okay, that's how you take care of an Assaultron. God damn, those are scary fucking bastards. Okay, but yes, now we'll take armor. Hell yes. That was awesome. Sure, we'll take the military fatigues too. Anything useful in here? I don't think so. Probably just the Assaultron. Anybody else? We'll take glass. I don't know why I picked up that broom. Did not mean to do that on purpose. So yeah, anybody who's played Fallout 3, these things scare the shit out of you. <laughs> these fucking little carriages with the uh, teddy bears in them. Oh my god. That was the worst thing ever. Alright, stairs up. That's what we need. Take the buff out. Up we go. Okay. The elevator's what we need to go up. We'll take the drinking glass. Uh, actually, this might be where I need to exit. I don't remember now. So we got two elevators. Which is super awesome. Let's go out through this. Just to make sure it's not the medical station that connects to the, uh, the highway that I'm thinking of. We might have to go up and then exit again higher up. I just... It's not... My mind is not incredibly clear... We got this little wonderful little berry up here. Okay, good. That was Although I think if I'm going in any direction, I need to go north. Ah, right. Hester's Consumer Robotics. So I could have gone through here, and we could have just gone straight up this way. Which means I need to go into Mass Bay there. Okay, we need to continue going up. Because you can't get to it from just there. Oops. Yep, this is the end of that line. But we could have skipped some of Mass Bay. Who's there? That's unfortunate. So there are a couple of assholes. Ooh, there you are. Damn it. Here's the other one. Nothing there. Ooh. Well, we'll take the dirty armor fatigues. Thought there was an extra one up here, but I guess not. But we'll take money. Anything else of use? Nope. Alright, we've scavenged everything of value. Let's go back inside and we go back up. I am pretty sure there's also a magazine up here. Okay. We can't go down there. Okay. This oh, shit. I'm so sorry, buddy. Let's stim pack dog meat. Did not mean to do that to you, buddy. You were not there a second ago, to be fair. 
Alright, where is this gunner? There you are, you fucking asshole. Not fucking around. There we go. Headshot critical. Boom! Now there should be another gunner somewhere. I yeah, didn't want any part of that gunner. Felt really bad for shooting dog meat. Oh my god. Obviously did not mean to open fire there. Take that. We'll take the vacuum tube. The cool part is, because we got him before he got to this, we got ourselves a nice little fusion core. I think there's another gunner in here. Fuck it. Huh? There he is. And you're there. Thank you. Maybe it was just timed. It was just timing. A lot good timing. Because he's not... You'd think if he liked it, he would say Deacon liked that every time I would get a uh, sneak attack here. There it is. Hey, Deacon, where are you, buddy? There you are. Heads up. Perfect. Okay. Oh, he is already carrying a bunch of shit. Shit. Uh, well... Okay, I didn't give him all that much before. We got a bunch of crap, don't we? Holy crap. There we go. All right, what that's... Okay, so now we'll be much more selective. We got ourselves a nice little MRI machine. We'll take the high-powered magnets out of it. There's an interesting hollow tape. Wayne, I'm leaving this message with Marcy in case you come looking for me. Though I pray you don't. The military took over the hospital. And everything's gone to hell in the city. Things here, they're... It's bad, Wayne. People Sweet. are dying every day. And most of the time, all we can see... One of the I other nurses know. told me she heard a radio signal that... Oops, I glitched like it. You're still out there. But we've got a way out. And I'm gonna try to find you. Alright, so... TLDR, since it got a little glitched there... Um, while I was opening the safe... Uh, Bonnie did a little, uh, recording where they've got a way out and said she was going to try to find, uh, try to find Wayne. The cool part about that is, um, there's a second half of that story, <laughs> which we will be uncovering. All right. Now I'm up here. We got a couple of things up here. We got a frag mine. We got some money. All right. Oh God, please tell me I went to the right place. Okay, so here's Mila if we needed that. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Asshole. Pain in the ass, did I go the wrong way? It crashed Furterbird on top of the hospital. Of course, it's foggy as shit, so I can't really see. Damn it, I think I did go the wrong place. I think I did go the wrong place. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, we got that one. Bastard. We'll get the other one. Come on. Oh, come on. Damn. Can't even see the fucker. There we go. Now we got our kill shot. I wonder if I have to jump down and survive the fall. I think that might be how I do this, but it doesn't feel right. Damn it. Maybe I did go the wrong way. Fuck. This is such a pain in the ass. Ugh. Alright. Let's... Gotta get up there. Alright, so you know what? Let's, uh... I know there's a way up there. Let's go over here. Let's try that instead. 
And of course, I'm doing this without a guide. I'm doing this purely from memory. But since it wasn't Mass Bay, it's got to be this one. There's another way up. It's kind of by a good neighbor. I didn't think this was the way we wanted, but maybe it is. So let's cruise over here. Now I just need to find... There is a way up over here. Of course, we got these assholes. Time to earn our paychecks. I'm getting paid, right? You guys are getting paid? <laughs> Alright, so... Not that. Not that. I think it's in there. Where did that asshole go? Oh, there he is. Sweet. Nope, nope. Don't. Don't. Do that. Okay, so I think... We'll take that. Pyrogenic grenade's always kind of cool. We'll take chems. Not this. It's around here. There's somewhere around here. There is a elevator around this. Fuck, I thought it was there. Is it up there, maybe? Ooh, you know what? It's up there. Okay. But it's up there. Okay. Let's head down over here. It's up here. I bet you it's up here. And if for a second it actually showed it. That nav point rarely shows there. It usually just kind of shows up there, but I guess we're so close to it now that it knows. But yeah, this, this is what I was looking for. Alright. So now we go to Pinnacle High Rise. I knew I, I know there were I knew there were two ways up. Alright, at this point we're we're good. Oh, are we like right by it? Who? Oops. Shit. I, don't think we're alone. I totally forgot about those assholes. Boom. All right, well, that was cool. That was easy. Man, I wish I'd just done that earlier. Fuck. Oh, well. So that ended up being a lot easier. You're <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Whatever. Fucking asshole gunners. I'll take 10 millimeter ammo. And we'll also take fusion cells. Woohoo! Definitely take the plasma mine. Bobby pin. Take shotgun shells. Definitely take the stealth boy. We don't need that sniper rifle. Sweet. Okay, now we can leave. Fuck this place. Oops. Oh yeah, we could go up that elevator and then we go into a complete mass of utter bullshit. Nope. Nope, nope. Out we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that one was always tricky. Um, and it doesn't help that the nav point is not that door unless you're really, really close to it. It always just shows above, as you guys noticed before. But yeah, once we were around there, then all of a sudden it was like, oh yeah, you probably want to go in this door. Thank, thank, thanks, game. Appreciate it. I wish it had just, I just, I wish it would just do that without having me having to fucking get that close to it. Oh well. Yeah, sure. Give me this bullshit thing. Okay, now we'll go and we'll clear the, uh, the place for, um, concierge. Mm, yeah, we'll go this way. And we'll just pick up a bunch of stuff because we're going to drop it off at Hangman's Alley anyway. It's also when we're going to clear Deacon's uh, plate. Yeah, we'll just go this way. This is going to be a little easier. Actually, we'll just... No, okay, fine. There wasn't anything there. That's unfortunate. Would have been nice. Hmm, there's an un undiscovered thing there. Interesting. What's that? 
damn it. I tried to shoot the Molotov cocktail before it got to us. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we'll kill that super mutant. Get to cover. Headshot. Boom. You, I go whole days without that. <laughs> Dog meets reaction to that shot. <laughs> oh man, not my fault. It was just too late. I tried though. I tried. So yeah, if uh, so yeah, that's a this is a good point to point out that um, if you're in vats and a enemy throws a grenade or a projectile at you uh it is a valid target for vats so you could shoot it out of the air you know if you're quicker than i just was all right we're this close fuck it let's detect let's discover hallucinogen rather perfect yay excellent beautiful We're not going in here, but since we're here. Loot the bodies. <laughs> oh, look at that. Random stuff. Come on. No, I don't I don't want the fucking shovel. Go away. Thank you. You might want to focus on the valuable salvage. You'll break your back during the worthless scrap. It's useful, Deacon. The real test of timing is shooting in the mini nuke as it's leaving a fat man. I don't think that's something you can do. Although it is funny when you're in vats and you see that mini nuke coming right at you, and it's like, well, oh, shit. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, switched my. Oh, figures. Yeah, I was looking to charge my critical meter fast. That's what this laser weapon's really good at doing. That's oh, alright, we'll get another laser. We'll get another, uh... Legendary weapon. We made that look easy. Uh, the chameleon ability totally sucks. At least I remember that you could in 3. Ooh! You know, I don't know if I ever tried doing it in 3. If I run into that circumstance, I will attempt it. <laughs> My guess is that that will end very badly for me. But we can certainly try. Yeah, sure. We'll grab that now. Do do do. No, let's not go this way. Come on. Thank you. So over here, Hangman's Alley, we'll drop off all this shit. Hell, we could probably build a radio beacon in it. Oh, really? <sighs> it is funny when you turn them into dust piles. <laughs> Moving out. I might actually sleep at Hangman's Alley and recover some health that way. But I'll definitely cook some of what I've uh, picked up. We'll definitely take adhesive. At this point, we should be able to start making... <laughs> hey, Maxie, how are you, my friend? Get out with it. Yes, get over there! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that one is so fucking great. See, so yeah, we're uh, offloading some weight because I am super encumbered and I have just been grabbing everything. Well, we can do that. Store. Holy crap. All right, Iguana Bix. Yep. Mylark eggs. Oh, yeah. Let's do all that. Oh, my God. Look at all this crap I've been picking up. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that too. 
Okay. Much better. I don't need to stash any of that. Uh, yeah, we can put that in there. I didn't need to be carrying that. Let's see. Uh, we could also put in that militia hat. We could put those in there now, too. Oh, no. We want the mil uh, Minuteman light outfit. Because uh, these I could craft off of. The other one, though, I'm going to need. Let's see. What else do we got? What else we got? Okay. Hey, Deacon. No, no. Deacon, don't run. Oh, fucking Deacon. Look alive. How's your weekend going? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. We got some rain. Um, well, most of us got rain. Freakbot didn't get rain. He's he's kind of bitter about it. <laughs> but yeah, doing good. Cat's doing better. Uh, my cat had a cold last week. And so uh, that occupied most of my week this week. Um, I was going to take her to the vet, but she eluded capture. Hilariously enough. <laughs> I was going to take her and uh, could not get her in the carry and I, I looked at that and went well you can't be feeling too bad if you're able to uh fight me that much and run off and scamper off so yeah that was uh that was pretty annoying oh let's put the cock yeah we don't need those oh wow i've got a lot of plasma grenades too jeez i'm gonna need to stop off at the um castle at some juncture and get rid of some of these but let's see okay that being the case all right there's caretaker let's break down some of these. I don't need a combat sniper rifle at this point. Don't need that one. Could scrap that. Okay, we've got all this shit. Okay. Oh, I don't need that pipe pistol either. What the fuck do I have a pipe pistol for? Yeah, give me give me four steel. That's fine. <laughs> that was very random. That sounds like a skill. Oh, it it, it totally is. <laughs> it totally is. Oh my goodness. My fucking cat, man. She is a character, but I'm glad she is feeling better. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, wait, did I need to report back to? Oh, no, I know what I know why we're here. OK, so we don't need we don't need to do that anymore. Uh, we do need to pick up that dead drop. But at this point, let's go clear out Parkview Place. For our caretaker. And that for that, we go up here. I probably just picked it up by accident off of one of those fucking raiders. Oh, uh, I do not look forward to this shit. You know what? Let's just stick with the laser weapon for now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Commander? They're fighting. Oh, ho, ho. I dodged that just in time. Holy shit. Damn it. Fucker. Nail me. Alright, we got him. Tell your friends you dead bats. Don't look. But I think they're Gotta get them? Probably not. <laughs> you can actually hear Deacon going, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright, okay, let's get AP back. Yep, here it comes. Yep, fucker. I hate these little bastards. Let's see if they left anything useful. Wow, that was actually a really nice headshot at that distance. Anything interesting? Fuck, man. All right. So that was lame. Assholes. We'll take the tarberry though. Okay. We definitely need Rataway. We need a lot of Rataway. Holy shit, did we get irradiated from that? Really, dude? You got nothing better than that? You're a gunner commander. This is the best loot you've got? Fucker. Ugh. Super lame. But whatever. I guess we'll just have to deal with it for right now. Oh, yeah. We could also explore that. But 
I'm not going to get too sidetracked. I've already gotten very sidetracked already. You know, I could have popped some fucking Rad X knowing I was fighting those assholes. That would have been too fucking smart. Okay. So, how does Seraph want to approach this? Let's go this way. We'll approach this building from this side. Yeah, we'll take the leather. Are there any rad roaches over here? Like there tend to be? Where are they? Oh, we got dogs. Never mind, we got fucking dogs instead. Dance's sidearm is a pretty good laser weapon, all things considered. Is it running? Ooh, you're you're a legendary. Enough out of you. Ooh, that's enhanced. We like that. Shit, I'm this close to Diamond City. I probably should have just gone to Arturo and bought more 10 millimeter ammo. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Fuck. Always super mutants. We have now died three times, and each time it was a super mutant. Two times it was a super mutant suicider, but each of those three, there were super mutants involved. God damn it. We just lost that really awesome bats enhanced weapon uh, armor too. Damn, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Fucking super mutants, man. Such assholes. That is a bummer. That is a gigantic fucking bummer. Oh, well. What can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Uh, and they were right there, man. We turned the corner and they were just right there. Granted, super mutants do tend to be in this area. But still, that sucks. That really sucks. Ugh. Are there going to be three more of these assholes here? Fucking dogs. Now, there won't be any dogs this time. No dogs. Look at that shit. Oh, here they are. Look at that. Oh, and it's another legendary, although it's not going to be as awesome as the one we had before. Fucking vats enhanced, man. But I'm surprised they still sent us a legendary. It must have uh, spawned before... Uh... Although we slept. Wow, and it's the same one. Never mind. All right, well, that's awesome. Okay, this time we're not going to make that same mistake. Where are you guys? I know there's a suicider. This is where it was last time. Shoot that guy. Okay, there you are, you fucking bastard. Time to earn our paycheck. I'm getting Not fucking around anymore. Headshot, bitch. You sure do a lot of that. Winning, that is. That was better. Alright, any more of these assholes? Probably a turret. Sure. Give me mutant hound meat. 
definitely take that mini nuke. Thank you. That'll be useful later. <laughs> Save for fuck's sakes. <laughs> right? No, you won't. There you are. Thank you, Deacon. Before I met you, I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. But yes, good point. <laughs> now we loot. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe we ended up getting that Vats enhanced uh, armor piece again. That's really cool. Go see what's in these meat bags. Nah, I don't want that. We'll take money and ammo. Do do do. So we did pretty well on the uh, second attempt. <laughs> it's nice when you get a second shot at things. All right. This is where we want to go. Ooh, that's a meat bag. We'll take shotgun. Oh, there you are. That's where the super mutant is. It's over on that side. Let's go around this side. Ambush him this way. Bastard. Diamond City over there. Okay, I could see why concierge, the concierge, uh, the caretaker was really worried about this particular area. Because <laughs> this is actually the area we need to clear out. Heard that super mutant over here. Am I going to see him? I'm not too worried about the raiders. I'm more concerned about the super mutant. I'm not seeing the super mutant. Whoop. There you are. Seems we have a tail. No more problem. <laughs> Little bastard. Wow, all that? You only had 38 ammo. Hmm? That's alright. Still take that. Oh, don't worry, mutants. I'm coming for you. That's actually funny. We're supposed to be up there in the middle of that firefight, but we got close enough where they're just killing each other. Let's just let him do it for a minute. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I can get the angle to kill any of them. But we'll be up back up there in a minute. I'm blind! <laughs> That's fucking great. Do, 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 do. So cool, by the time we get... <laughs> need backup! <laughs> by the time we get up there... Yeah, a lot of them will be dead already. That works for me. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, yeah, I'll just take out some of these blood packs. And while we're at it... Uh, drinks. Perfect water. Perfect. Offload some of that weight and heal ourselves at the same time. Yeah. Definitely detect disabling that can chime test or trap. Nobody else here. Nobody here. Nobody here. Good. Take the Braxo cleaner. those okay. up we go uh, except dog meets underfoot <laughs> just like a real dog always always in the way or a
Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Nothing else here. Nope. Good. Advancing. I think she's in there. Fucking raiders. Attaching heads to doors. I don't know why she was looking at the wall, but hey, it suit that suits me just fine. Alright, that's the way out. I don't think that's a door I can actually open. Oh, it is a door I can open. Shit. Oh! I didn't think you could Man, I was really stealthy. I figured uh you guys would have gotten woken up by your friend dying, but oh well. Oops, I did not want to do that. Pipe wrench, we'll give you back back. You guys just have this bullshit. Ugh. Really? Ugh. Oh, I went past it. I was going the wrong way. That's it. Back up we go. Son, you better be worth it. I was wondering when you were going to turn around and see me. <laughs> Granted, that was kind of mean on my part. Just like waiting for her. Oh, they're not over here. I guess they got pulled by all the uh, activity up here. I should have a battle cry. Hmm? <laughs> Fucking gunner. Really, little douchebag? We live to fight another day. And night. Was not expecting the gunner down there to start shooting at us. Everybody up here should already be dead. A couple of headshots. Yeah, I'll keep that under advisement, Deacon. I just took a couple of shots to the head there. Okay. I think we've had enough of this. <laughs> Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Douchebag. You know, running away is always an <laughs> Although I got most of it there. Direct hit that time. That was a little bit of a waste, but yeah, I was, I was done with that shit. <laughs> I was over. Ow, ow. Hello, cat. Man, I'm glad she waited till then to do that little surprise uh, grab at my feet. <laughs> Hi, kitty, kitty. Who's a good kitty kitty? Who's my good girl? Are you my good girl? What you doing, kitty kitty? All right, now let's take a look at our spoils. We'll take our bobby pins. Um, <clears throat> take those. Unlock this. Hello, cat. What you doing? You want some more food? You hungry? Sweet. Trying to figure out what my cat wants at the moment. Dog meat, get out of the way, buddy. Thank you. Yep, perfect. Okay. 
Now we've dealt with that. What's the easy way to get down? Is there an easy way to get down? I think there is an easy way to get down. We'll just go this way. So fun fact, if you're up here, you can actually parkour a little bit off of, um, well, we don't need bloat fly meat, but we will take this. Uh, and you can get into Diamond City, hopping rooftops and get over there. And, um, and there's actually like a, um, a room up there. It's hard to get to. It's easier if you've got power armor and a backpack. But point being, you can get up there. Um, what's the easy way down? Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do earlier. I just forgot about that one thing. Okay, caretaker, you're over here. We've already dealt with the super mutants. I blow, holy shit, and if I low on health? Wow, that guy really fucked me up. Holy shit. Let's see what else we got. Food. Food. Glorious food. Yeah, we'll just eat some mud chops. Oh, shit. Yeah, we need more. <laughs> Bam. All rat chunks. Sure. There we go. Now we're at full health. Hangman's alley's over here. We'll report back to the caretaker. Drop off more of this shit. Build a generator and a radio beacon. So we can actually build some shit there. Make it a little easier to hide synths in here. Assuming I do that, I could just not do that, but I plan to build an artillery piece here. Already taken care of. I hardly even broke a sweat. Whatever you did worked. The tourists have signed on. K-8's already on the move. Take this. I might have more jobs later. Thanks, bub. Perfect. Oh, and he gave us some stim packs. That was nice. Sweet. Unload all that crap. Did I give a bunch of stuff to Deacon? Hey, buddy, come here. Hey, what is it? Nope, not this time. Okay, first things first. Let's make some of that. Now we don't need a billion of that. One of stick. I'll make some of that though. Sure, we'll do some of that. We'll make one of that, and we'll make some gargar ribs. Okay. That was necessary. Okay, weight-wise. Yeah, my weight's under control. Although we may as well dump off some of this shit. Anything else? No? Don't see anything too crazy. There we go. Okay, let's save. Marvelous. Okay, so we have completed concierge, or concierge. That was nice. Now we need to pick up the dead drop there. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go north. All right, that's easy enough to get to. Let's go north, take care of that quest. And what do you guys think? The, uh, for what I, do you wanna, do you wanna see the, uh, what I affectionately call the Blade Runner quest? Because this might be a good time to do that. We'll be up in the area for it. It's a little bit of a tangent from getting Ballistic Weave, but it's, in my opinion, it's a really neat quest. Oh, fuck. What time is it? In-game. Nope, never mind. Archer is asleep. Fuck it. <laughs> he's not going to have... He's not going to be there to, to buy 10mm ammo off of. Yeah, we can holster that. Should be okay now. Let's holster up there. Let's run. Let's pick up the pace. Everything looks okay. Nothing's trying to ambush us. <laughs> you always got to worry about that in the Commonwealth, getting ambushed. Boston ruins are a dangerous place. Yeah, there's still a little bit of stutter, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. 
So what was happening before and what was causing a lot of that stutter was a mod called You and What Army. Because what would happen is every time I would go to a new cell, if there was a provisioner in that cell, that mod would create um, like a squad of Minutemen around that provisioner. I'm just looking for loot. Sorry. <laughs> I don't see anything here. What's up here? Always scavenge. Ooh. Blue table lamp. We'll take that. We can always use that. You can always take some time in the Commonwealth to stop by and look for some salvage. Especially when all that salvage could be used to either decorate your uh, settlements or build things. What are you barking at, buddy? What'd you find? What'd you find, buddy? You are barking up a storm. Did you find something? Ooh, you did find something. Hello. Nice job, dog meat. Good boy. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> I'm a total, like, I obviously am allergic. I'm, I'm actually just as allergic to dogs as I am to cats, but I do tend to favor cats. But man, I love having a dog in this game. It is fucking great. Uh, how do I get in there? Ah, that's how I can get Sweet. I like money. Oh, what's that? Part of me is thinking, well, let's get involved in that, but I don't think so. All right, fine. Oh, yes. Plumber's Secret. That's an interesting unmarked location. What the hell are these guys getting into a fight for? Super Mutant just died. <laughs> oh, so we got some raiders. One of them's up there. Fuck it. Let's do this. took out that one. Oh, nice job, dog meat. Insert something Shakespearean. <laughs> Thank you, Deacon. That is fucking hilarious. That's right, I forgot. The whole point of switching to that weapon was to charge up my VAT's crit meter. Someone's shooting dog meat. Where are you? Where are you, fucking evil son of a bitch? That's enough out of you. <laughs> I'll take that. Go boy, dog meat. Who's the best boy? Who's the best boy? <laughs> All right, and there's a chest. Let's go into that chest. Oh yeah. Sweet. Cool. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. Get back onto our previously scheduled quest. Yeah, I can't get out that way. Fine. <laughs> So Plumber's Secret is an interesting unmarked location. I'm going to go into it just to show you what show you what it is. <laughs> it's a different one. But it's pretty neat. So we're essentially clearly a plumber used to work here. But one of the interesting things you get all these plungers. Oh fuck. Rad oh, scary. Bastard. Uh, but yeah, you get a bunch of these 
I'll just kind of come over here. I'm trying to remember what the secret was to this place. There was a secret, hence Plumber's secret. Ah, right. Okay, that made something drop. Oh, there it is, the caps. Although, a whole whopping 14 fucking caps. I mean, for that, they should give you more than just 14 caps. But yeah, something else in there that was hidden. Oh, there it is, the syringer rifle. <laughs> I knew there was something neat in there. You just had to go and shoot the uh, planks off and then that would fall. Neat, but not the end of the world. Let's see. Take that, and we'll take a tablespoon. Sure, we'll take three more money. We will also break into the safe, because of course we will. A little more. Yep, got the right one that time. Got it. Okay. Plastic plate, sure. Okay. Back out into Cambridge we go. Hopefully we can get to this dead drop. See where they're sending us. I mean, it could have just fast traveled here, but what's the fun in that? They're hostels at University Point, huh? Okay, so here's how we're going to do that then. Okay. I just... I just talked shit about fast traveling, but we're going to fast travel because we got to clearly costals at university point. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to fast travel to the castle. I know. I just, I just, <laughs> I was like, I don't like fast traveling ever. All right. Time to fast travel. Uh, we're going to take a quick look and see what's going on at the castle. We're going to drop off this shit we just picked up. Perfect. All right. Let's also, I think this is a good moment for us to begin. Well, nah, not yet. Not yet. But let's go in here and let's break that down. We don't need that anymore. Let's take the vats enhanced off. But now we can do that. Interesting. Why are you not equipped? We don't need that. Oh, I've got the right leg fortifying instead. Okay, that explains that. Well, I've got two fortifyings. Shit. Hmm. Okay, so instead of martyr, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put sharp on that. Oh, right, I have to break it down off that. That'll add some extra oomph to your armor. There we go. Okay, that takes care of that. We'll put... Minutemen light outfit in here. This is where I would probably use it. Put it on somebody if I need to. Let's see. Put that irradiated blood there. What else we got going on? Nope, those are fine. That looks good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So we're getting there with some of these. Hey. You don't have anything, do you, dog meat? I mean, See, good. You've got all of those. Mm, army fatigues, military fatigues. Yes. You're going to go into there. A little bit of inventory management here. Nothing too crazy, though. Okay. Now, as we start breaking out of dawn here, one thing I do want to check is to make sure people are manning the two artillery guns that I have up here. Good. 
You're there. Good, and you are there. Perfect. Okay. Let's see, is it late or is it early? It is early. So let's just take a quick nap. Let the castle wake up. Uh, sleep one hour. Yeah, sleep four hours. Perfect. All right. Yeah, dog meat. you're going to find stuff in the castle. There's shit laying around everywhere, buddy. <laughs> okay, but here's the cool part about all this. Wow, it's still foggy as shit. All right, so... The railroad wants us to take care of University Point, and it's also really close by the castle. So... We are going to use the castle's artillery to pound University Point before we ever even set foot anywhere near it. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, I could have bought ammo off fucking Ronnie. Well, no, maybe it's too early for that. I'll go, we'll go back to the castle and I'll buy some ammo. Or maybe then I'll finally go to Diamond City and buy ammo there. And I'm still kind of okay with ammo. I've got 244. It's a decent amount of ammo. Still. Fucking raiders. Oh, I'll definitely take this red scorpion meat. There's also a uh, interesting shrine out that way, which I don't think I've gone into yet. Oh, fuck. This Meyer Lurk is really here. A lot of my perks are set up well for silenced weapons. So I just, at this point, we're doing much higher damage. Yeah, you are hearing shit. You don't see me at all. Do, 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 do. Good, yep, go that way. <laughs> Anything interesting in you? Yep, we'll take those. We'll clear out University Point. And that's University Point right here. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> Weapons. Explosives. Artillery smoke grenade. So if I thought I could do it, I would just throw it over this wall. But I don't think... I feel like I should be able to do it here. But I want to make sure I land it clear in the center. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome traders. Clearly bad shit happened here. We're going to get a little more of an insight of some of the bad shit that happened here in a second. Hide over here before the guns start. In, General. Take cover. <laughs> fire. Hmm. Overactive sensors. Not hiding anymore. That's enough out of you. Shithead. Ah, there it is. There's the kill shot. 
we probably got the legendary. But at the very least, the legendary is now damaged extensively. Now we go do a little bit of cleanup here. Yeah, caution. The question is, where's our enemy? Let's advance first. Clear the area. That takes care of that fucker. <laughs> that should be all of them. Okay, we could turn off Radio Freedom now. Alright, now let's go explore. <laughs> let's find that legendary. We picked up a holotape. I'll be explorer. Look, the youngsters may think the Institute is just a ghost story, but I know you're old enough to remember the attacks. I know you feel for the girl, but she brought the trouble down on us. She and her father need to answer for it. If we give the Institute what they want, or just give them the girl even, maybe they'll leave us alone. I don't see anything up here. Was this where our legendary was? Maybe. Pick this lock. There it is. Nice. Cool. So that's one way we could have gotten in here. This is downright creepy. Yes, yes it is, buddy. Since the castle is so close by, we're going to be very liberal about clearing, picking up shit. Which we wouldn't normally be. We're still not going to just pick up complete junk. Really? Damn it, that legendary is probably the one I just finished off with the, um, with the gauze rifle. I'm not seeing another body around here. Shit. Hopefully it's still there when we come out of uh, their base. Unfortunately, we killed we killed basically all of them. Uh, sure, we'll take frag lines. We can always unload the extras. The castle. Duct tape, we're definitely taking that. Fuck yeah. All right, so we're starting to get a piece of the puzzle here. They did mention the Institute, and, uh, shocker, the Institute's here. And we'll take the alarm clock, we'll take the camera, there's nothing else there. Take a skull, bones, yeah, we like bone. It's definitely creepy to pick up bone, but we're getting closer to the point where I'm about to start using some of that. Anything else up here? Figures now we find all this shit. I was looking for an armor bin. Mm hmm. Let's see what's up here. Oh well. Oops, I did not want to pick up that. You can take that back. <laughs> you can take that back. I don't want it. Well, something's fighting those raiders. It's probably Minutemen of Mine actually fighting the raiders. When we come out, we could lob an artillery smoke grenade and have uh, the castle open fire on the raiders too. Nope. Thankfully, I got away from it. I missed it. Tension trigger was right here. I should have deactivated it. That was stupid. That was very stupid. I got lucky. I got far enough away from it 
that it didn't even hit me, I don't think. Fuck Deacon up something awful, though. Alright, we're switching back to this. So good. Hmm. Well, they at least fought back. Interesting area. Clearly a lot of machines. There we are. So it's going to be around there. Yep, right there. Got it. Take some adhesive. Pretty much any time you're ever modding things, and by modding I don't mean like game mods, I mean like putting um, new scopes on weapons or um, anything of that nature, you uh, you need adhesive. It's just, it's one of those materials that's just so... Okay. Nice. There we go. It's nice when it works out that way. Say, let's take a look at, I don't know what to do, Josephine don't know what to do, our daughter found something in the ruins, some sort of data, man came to town, said he was from the Institute, threatened the mayor, everybody's losing their fucking minds, uh, someone accused Jacqueline of being a synth. Next one, you would be so proud, uh, Jack, that's what uh, she likes to go by now. Well, she found your old uh, notes about the mail and Bailey begged me for weeks to take her in a flooded area where I went to hunt lurks where she could find parts that she needed. So clearly, uh, but it's certainly more than I was doing at 14. So yeah, Josephine here. It's been three years since you died, and I still think about you every single day. Wish you could think about how, about, uh, how much Jacqueline has grown. Uh, last week was her sixth birthday. Uh, looks so much like you. Miss you so much. Okay, so this guy is just writing notes to that. University mail relay. Keep Jacqueline inside. So we're already starting to get a better idea of what the hell's going on down here. Don't know what a, uh, what a dangerous man looks like, and I don't want to call those. Uh, I don't want to call his bluff. Our people are scared and looking for someone to blame. It does seem like Jacqueline was the seed of this mess, so put her out of sight until we get this sorted out. If your daughter does have that data, we should have it ready to turn over if need be. What has your daughter done, Gerald? How many times have I told you what your daughter, or what that daughter of yours would be at the end of you? I've told you a thousand times. No good has ever come from messing with pre-war gobbledygook. If she were my daughter, I would have beaten some sense her years ago. Wow, Father, you're here. I'm almost glad Josephine isn't alive to see what a wreck your family's become. Jesus Christ. Uh, shame on you, Gerald. My boys, uh, if my boys come to harm from this, I'll beat you to death myself. Anyway, uh, Gerald, you know I, uh, I love Jacqueline like she was my own granddaughter. Breaks my heart to say this, but I think the two of you should leave town. Just run for it. Leave the Commonwealth. You're still young enough to start over, and Jack is as smart as can be. I hear more than people. Th uh, I hear more than people think, and I'm not hearing anything good. Even if this visitor is an imposter, I fear my own neighbors may turn on you first. All right, so this guy is at least warning, um, ah, Gerald. It's like the old world flipping us off all over Hostile again. sensor reading detected. It would appear ah, you I'm ready, ready. sorry. Fucker. Wow, really? There we go. No. You bastard. Dog meat. So, new business I love it when dog meat just holds it still. With a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this. Since right? our stealth was ruined anyway. Well, since I blew my own stealth, really. Okay, let's see. Moving around here. The circuit board. There we are. Tesla magazine. So we found uh, Jacqueline's room. anything in these? Yeah, we'll take a wrench, sure. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's just go out here really quick just to see if that legendary synth is still out here. That's what I really don't want it to do is despawn. Please tell me you're a legendary. Damn it. So I wonder where the legendary was that died. Fuck. Oh, well. I didn't want that legendary item anyway. <laughs> ah, shit. All right. Well, I'll at least pick up that. Is that right here somewhere? Okay. 
Nice. Marvelous. Uh, I don't think there was anything even useful in this room. Here, I'll take that fucking telephone. And your chain. Okay. So we've dealt with this. I think we've found all that we can really get from around here. Let's pick this lock. Break a bobby pin, because fuck bobby pins. There it goes. Sweet. I had a feeling I went too fast. Thought it was an overdue book for a second. Uh, yep, this part sucks. This way. Yep, this part sucks. You're going down. Damn it. Oh, I went the wrong way. But fortunately, so, it did not take advantage of that. With a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this, right? I found you. Sense always. Well, if we gotta do it. Fuck me, get out of the way, buddy. Back before Here we I go. met you, I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. Honest. Ooh, alright. I think we may have found our replacement gun. That was pretty cool. Where does all this dust even come from? The dust fairies? Uh, yeah, we'll take the typewriter. Coffee pot, sure, we'll take that. We're almost done here. Let's pick this. A little more. Oh, come on. Did I go too far? Yeah, I went too far. That's it. Canned dog food. Ooh, I'll definitely take the industrial grade Abraxo cleaner. Sure, we'll take the dirty water. Dirty water has its uses. Ambush this fucker. It's right here. Who never even saw us coming. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, you really don't get a sense of who the dead bodies are. That's uh, that fucker. All right, now we can just report our success, and life is great. Plasma mine, we'll take more of those. Sure, I'll take some of that. Jack's note. I'll definitely take the fucking mini nuke. Woohoo! Uh, sure, we'll take that. Uh, professor's terminal. I don't think there's anything useful in this, but we'll look anyway. Yeah, lecture plans, university mail relay. We just got a bunch of these. Yeah, these are all pre-war things. Well, clearly whatever research they were doing here, they attracted the uh, attention of the army. So we'll do one last. Oh, shit. That's not where I wanted to go. Fuck. Ah. Seraph, you dumb shit. There we go. Well, <laughs> although my idiocy ended up not resulting in my death, but instead uh, paid off with uh, some extra um, XP. I like XP. All right, let's try and go. Let's do this correctly this time. Let's 
exit the correct way is over here. Chain door. <laughs> and now we re-exit. Just like so. Where that damn legendary freaking synth ended up. I probably blasted into the fucking ocean. Damn it. Alright. So we've got the university credit union here. We're gonna cruise in here. Ugh. Sweet. Oh, well, that was nice of it. Cruise in here. And of course, Deacon liked it, which we like. I love old world widgets. Uh, Worth a fair amount. Nope. They're uh, still around. In the Commonwealth. I mean, I guess it was uh, some sort of fight. <laughs> like, lots of guns or whatever. Some people, not me, just some other people who are totally different, uh, were wondering if maybe they were looking for something uh, specific. Uh, da, that makes sense, right? I mean, they, uh, they like technology, their gadgets, and stuff, so it just seems like a place to go. I guess they were seen coming out of it all right, so maybe, maybe now they'll, you know, they got what they came for. Oh, shit. They don't need anything else. <laughs> Never let your know. guard completely down, even in a place like this. I'll, uh, now I gotta give it a second. The five stars are up next, singing about a lady. Uh, I guess maybe one of them liked her. I mean, it couldn't have been all of them. That would cause it that. I mean, that would just create workplace tension. Here's the five stars. <laughs> That's Travis, our Diamond City Radio DJ. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be great. Okay, so. Uh, oh, let's just go up to armor. Yeah, let's just keep leveling up armor. Let's try this again, this time without the fucking oops. <laughs> dank. Come on, it gotta be dank, right? No, it's not gonna be dank. That sucks. Okay. Uh, I'm in. There we go, thank you. Open the vault. God damn. So this part's kind of cool. Take some money. We've actually ended up really ahead of the game money-wise. We'll definitely pick this lock. There we are. There it is. Yes. Ah, sure. Oops. Press the red candy-like button. What could go wrong? <laughs> but if, unless you have master lockpicking, you can't even get to this thing. Get to this vault. That secret vault in here. Hmm. This is up here. Oh, come on. Man, I'm really having a hard time with this lock. There it is. Nice. Just for some fucking ammo. Sure. Yeah, give me tools. Why not? Come on. There you are. That's it. Marvelous. Okay. So I missed something, but we'll grab that in a second. But um, so yeah, here's the prototype, a legendary unlimited ammo capacity, which really all that means is that you don't need to reload it. It's not a truly infinite weapon. It'd be nice if it were truly infinite, but it is nice that you don't have a weapon that you don't need to reload. 
Grab two stim packs. All right, let's get out of here. Let's find that last hollow tape. I feel like there is a hollow tape somewhere around here. Ooh. Bobby pins. I do want to find that last hollow tape. I feel like it's probably upstairs. Here. Nope. Didn't I see this set in a horror film once? <laughs> yeah, right, Deacon? Jesus. There we go. Mayor's terminal. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, let's play the tape. As a head of the town council, I call this meeting to order. In attendance this evening, we have Perry Owens, Gerald Spencer, Sylvia Cooper, and myself, Bert Strickland, as acting council head. Bert, what is all this about? I've got wheat that needs bringing in. Yesterday, I received a very disturbing visitor. I managed to record part of the conversation. It's probably best if you all hear it. I don't see anything about that in my records. What was it you said you wanted again? Don't toy with me. We know a girl here found some pre-war data related to energy research, and you're gonna give it to us. I really have no idea what data you think we have. We're just farmers and fishers. I'd be happy to ask around for you. Please, just lower the gun. Look, I'm a reasonable man, but the Institute wants that data. You got two days to get it for me, and then we do this the hard way. Oh, God. Jacqueline. What has your daughter done, Gerald? She's been saying that she was close to finding something in those old terminals she picked us up. But I don't think she actually found anything. Bullshit. Now, I overheard her talking to that trader last week. Something about getting ten times the price for something if she sold it in Diamond City. Look, just let me talk to her. See if she actually has this data or not. Uh, Pete, sit down. We all need to remain calm about this. I need you all to keep this to yourselves for now. The last thing we need is to start a panic. <laughs> so that voice sounded very familiar now, didn't it? It's the same exact voice as the uh, weird dude that showed up with that heavy caliber that killed our husband. So yeah, the Institute was indeed here and they were bad news. So yeah, that girl Jacqueline found something she shouldn't have. Uh, all right, so let me, right. now we can cruise back over here, do a little cut through, head back to the castle, drop off this stuff that we've, drop off the salvage that we've picked up. Yeah, we're not going to go that way. That was very successful. Cleared out this area that we needed to for Randolph safe house. And we picked up another clue. So the voice of the man that uh, took our kid and shot, um, damn it, I didn't release the button in time. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's an alpha death call. Of course it is. Come on, Vats. Work with me here. Fine. Fine, shoot it in the head once. Yeah, it didn't really do much, did it? There we go. Now we've got the belly. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, bats. There we go. There we go. I managed to hit the belly myself. But yeah, shooting a death claw in the head with this thing did fucking nothing. Man, the water does look really nice. Does look really nice. That's the EMV that does that for the water effect. Good. Asshole raiders are minding their own business at the moment. Yep. 
fighting again. Okay. Come on. Where is it? That fucker was over here. Damn it. Oh, great. Now we gotta deal with Sanctuary too. I know that fucker's over here. Can you go with that? There you are. You're the fucker I knew. I wanted no part of this guy getting the better of me here. Okay, blow his. <laughs> Take care of this fucker. Yep, now we'll deal with you. Good nice. 77% shot chance to hit. We missed like the first three times. All right. You motherfucker. That was an unfortunate time for that to come. Oh, I'm on. I'm encumbered, aren't I? Yep, I'm encumbered. Hey, Deacon. Hey, tell me what. Do do do. Yeah, we'll have you hold on to that shit. Jeez. What you want? Man, we really did pack it on. Poof. <laughs> Where did these guys go? Oh, I war ran right by it. Yeah, we don't want any of that stuff. Take that though. <sighs> so yeah, that shit just fucking happened. All right, well, fine. We're gonna get radiated anyway. Grab the blood leaf. We're gonna start needing chemist and some of the other perks too. We're getting there. Alright. So far, our wonderful little castle is coming together. Hey Deacon, come here. Come here, buddy. Heads up. Good. Sure. Nice and obedient. <laughs> nice when he actually listens to me. I can help you out. Okay. Stash all that. Okay. Let's also go in here and let's stash some of this shit. We do not need all of those weapons. Okay. Actually, I'd rather ha I'd rather keep that. We'll probably just break these things down, but we'll put the deliverer in there for now. We'll put the prototype limitless potential in. Actually, no. Let's. I'm just gonna put grenades in here. I don't need. Don't need that many of those. Those will be fine. Actually, we'll just put all those in there. I'll keep two plasma mines. Two bottle cap mines? They do about the same amount of damage. Eh, I'll keep the bottle cap mines. That's what I'll use instead. Okay. Same thing. We don't need that many stealth boys. I'll keep three, just in case I need them. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's cruise over here. Damn it. What did I just pick up? Fuck. Ah, laser musket. Good. Deliver. This whole bandana can go in there. What else am I doing here? I thought that was Egon Spengler for a second. <laughs> Do re Egon. <laughs> Welcome back, Freakbot. See, not doing any of that stuff. And okay, we'll keep that stuff. All right, let's uh, put our Minutemen outfit. Cool. Okay, let's cruise back over here. Let's get rid of a lot of this shit. Yeah, don't need the irradiated blood. 
good. Now let's go over there. Scrap these. <laughs> Bustin' makes and Bustin' 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 makes me feel good. <laughs> oh man. You know what's funny? Uh, Freakbot was over for D and D one day, and I just had a, a YouTube playlist playing, and all of a sudden, Bustin' comes on. And he's just like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. Oh, did I not put that in where I wanted it to? Oh, that's what I... I probably did put it in there and then I grabbed it. Uh, Alright. Oh, I should have grabbed... Um... Oh, well. Whatever. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's put the Hitman's... Let's take that off a bit. And we'll just... Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I could do with these firearms at the moment. Let's go over here. We've been tinkering with these quite a bit. Combat armor chest piece. And we've got that on there. Ultra light would be... Oh, okay. Still need arm, uh, rank 3 armor for that. We're getting closer, though, for that. That'll be really nice. Yeah, we'll keep the Brotherhood of Steel one for that. Ooh, we can start doing these. Yes. Let's do that. Yeah, I need I need rank three for that. We're getting there. Polished. That's the best as it's gonna get. Ultralight will be better. Sure. To improve along on the these lines. Good, 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 good. Okay, this is looking good so far. I'm debating to <laughs> Deacon. <laughs> that is fucking great. Okay, let's. Oh, let's also put that one gun back where it belongs. Limitless potential. There we go. I don't think I need that many frag grenades either. Let's just put... Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Good. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Let's just sleep seven hours. <laughs> that is funny. That would make a good sound effect, probably. Bustin' makes me feel good! <laughs> Oh, that's fucking great. All right. So our castle is coming along. Oh, I should have done that before. Damn it. By the way. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, dog meat. Come on, buddy. So our headquarters is nice and well fortified. Our walls are repaired. Things are coming together. Oh, right. That's also what I wanted to do really quick before we get back into the uh, nitty-gritty of things. Let's go with probably this. Right? You uh, you okay there, Ronnie? <laughs> that probably tells me I have the bed too, uh, too close to the wall there. I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> Oops. I think it's okay. That is true. That sound alert definitely has a different meaning depending on the streaming platform. Very, very true. Furniture. Let's go with tables. Let's see. We're going to go with something like this. Could go with something like this. Might be a little more fitting. I'm actually thinking... Yeah, we'll go with this. There we go. All right. Okay. Now then. Uh, containers. 
That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's not going to matter much either way. It's going to make sense in a second, I promise. to be able to fit more than that on there. Am I? I could. It's just going to hang over. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Decorations. There it is. Mm-hmm. question is, do I really want to mess with that at the moment, or do I want to put a third row on there? That's only seven. That's going to be 14. Uh, all right, fuck it. Furniture of containers. Do another. Fortunately, I kind of fucked that up by doing it this way. Damn. All right. Right. There we go. Okay. That looks a lot less awkward. Okay. So essentially, I might just do the lettering another time because that's going to be way too tedious. But essentially, what this ends up being is... Uh, like an improvised post office. So at some point, maybe offline, what I'll do is I'll label them and um, these each of these would be a different settlement. And we now have a functioning post office, at least as far as the RP of the game. Uh, that balloon dog Mac and cheese ad is an assault on one's hearing. <laughs> oh, man. So what are we doing now? We've got a report back to Desdemona. We got a report back to Pam. So, uh, we do have to defend. Oh, uh. Oh right, we have to. We have to defend Sanctuary. That's the one we have to defend. Fucking thing. Ugh, that's gonna be so lame. All right, so I think that's what we'll do. Let's let's cash in our two quests. It's always nice to cash in quests. We'll go to Sanctuary. We'll defend it. Yes. Doc Garrington's been asking for you. That's going to be Butcher's Bill 2. Good. God damn it. Losing Augusta is a real blow. Not your fault, I know. I cleared out some Gen 1s for Randolph's safe house. Randolph is still operational? Finally, some good news. We thought they were another casualty of the switchboard disaster, but Randolph's been dark for too long. It'll be controversial, but we have to put them under quarantine. Is a quarantine really necessary? It's possible the safe house has been replaced by Institute infiltrators. It's happened before. No, the smart move, the only move, is to keep them isolated until we know for certain. Our only communication with Randolph is going to be by dead drop. Check in periodically with Drummer Boy. He coordinates the dead drops for us. Thanks. And we get some bottle caps. Now let's talk to... Word is, Diamond City is under opposition control. Now let's talk to Pam. Recalibrate using new data set. Pam, I took care of the DIA cash. Reward dispensed. Future tasks may be assigned. There we go. Oh, we got a covert sweater vest. That has ballistic weave in it. That's Glad pretty nice. Uh, Doc Carrington was looking for me. Hey, Doc Carrington. 
Where is Doc Carrington? Ugh, he's probably asleep somewhere. You're the one that scored the DIA cash, right? Tom's dying to talk to you about it. Hmm. Hey there. The DIA. Shit, man. The cash you found has some real serious high tech. <laughs> There's Carrington. The creme de la creme is ballistic polymer weave. Lightweight, serious stopping power. And it looks just like normal clothes. I oh my god. <laughs> Sorts of ideas. I'll take a look. Okay, here's what I got. That was fucking amazing to see uh, Doc Carrington just stand on top of. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking hilarious! On top of the railroad heavy agent. My goodness. Oh, Bethesda never change. Right now. Makes things All right, so. Ah, oh, good, you're here. There's been a development. A raider gang has captured one of our agents, codenamed Blackbird. The twist is, we thought he was already killed at Augusta's safe house. Desdemona clings to the far-fetched hope that A, Blackbird is alive, and B, he can tell us what happened to the synths held at Augusta when it fell. So she wants you to tackle this fool's errand. If Blackbird's alive, I want to bring him back. As you see fit, the dead drop has the full briefing. Raiders aren't known for keeping their captives alive, but since you're risking your neck, good luck. So interesting that they gave the dialogue for um, for Ballistic Weave, because usually, I guess we'll find out, but usually you have to do Butcher's Bill 2, this mission, and, uh, all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Abernathy Farm first, and then we're going to advance, because, um... Hmm. God damn it. You know, we'll go to the Drumlin Diner first. Uh, cause if you, if you, uh, load too far inwards, all of the enemies that are attacking it will spawn in the settlement, which sucks. So I'm going to try to, <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Dark Star. Oh, come on. Damn it. Fine. You s that was really quick, right? <laughs> that was like really fast. I just saw Help Defend Sanctuary. We kind of loaded fo close to it and it was like instant failed. So, all right. So, so much for that. I guess we're going to have to just go right to Sanctuary. That stinks. Man, the game's really fucking us in this, but all right. Fine. We'll go right to Sanctuary, right into whatever hell hole we just warped ourselves into. <clears throat> Super annoying when it does it this way. Not a big deal. Oh, yeah, and if you hit the buttons, you can. Since we talk, I'm feeling this way. All right. Where are these assholes? Ah, they're over here. Wow, I have almost as much 44 ammo as I do with a 10 millimeter. Got more. I should have a battle. How many more are there? Sometimes raiders will show up all the way over here, so let's go make sure. Bastards. Jezebel took care of a couple of gunners. You might want to wipe the blood off. Jeez, man. <laughs> like hardcore here. But we still have our... Yeah, it's still help defend sanctuary is still up. So, we still got to keep our eyes open. Which kind of sucks. But, since it is still up... Till it does vanish. Let's put a couple of more turrets up. Just 
just in case any more show up around here. Come on. Thank you. All right. Okay, assholes. Oh. They came back over there. Hey, Codsworth. And whatever dumb shits did come over here. Okay, yeah. And the turrets always take care of it. Like, I basically do very, very little when it comes to these settlement defenses. Because the turrets we build are more than sufficient. It's a little frustrating that, um... That it's such... It's so unlikely, it feels like, for them to defend themselves without you being around. And I think somebody did the math, and the maximum cap, no matter how many turrets you have... Like, I could have 200 turrets, and there's still, like, a 30% chance that uh, the settlement defense will fail. It's kind of dumb. All right, but since we did this, let's talk to Preston. You can't be far. Okay. Ah, you're in my house. Good. That works for me. So that, since we had to fast travel. Really, Preston? I taught those raiders a lesson. They won't be attacking another settlement again. That's good. I hope I live to see the day when people aren't always worried about the next raider attack. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime... Make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. And so this type of stuff happens when, um, you know, stuff just spawns. <laughs> it, it happens. It's not the end of the world. All right. So we got that ca that quest cashed in. All right. Let's, um... I am curious to see if it will let me put Ballistic Weave on my armor. Okay, I'm not scrapping that, but since we're here anyway. Wow, it will let us. It's going to let us build ballistic weave now. I just need a. So we did enough railroad quests for that. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, the hybrid weave is is definitely better. But I need science for that. Yeah, better overall resistance. Yeah, there's some good shit in here. All right, so we, we're going to need to start picking up science. That's going to be our next one, probably. Uh, how do we want to do this? All right, so, but that's cool that we know, we, all right, so that's cool. So now we can be a lot more selective about the quests we do. All right, it's time to do Blade Runner quest. Fuck yeah. Oh, let's also loot these bodies. And we'll pick up science now. Take ammo. Yeah, you don't have anything useful. I mean, I could just grab all of their shit and uh, take it, but what's the sense in that? Uh, or break it down, but it's it ends up being a little bit of a tedious process. Granted, I certainly have been willing to... Let's hunt some replicants. You have no idea, dude. So I could talk to this guy and he'll sell me his dog. But it's like, it's cool to have an extra dog in the settlement. But he always sounds so depressed when he sells me his dog. And it's like, but, so I, I just don't have the heart to, to buy the dog off of him anymore. So yeah, we're going to head out uh, over in this general direction. We'll get there pretty quick. Yeah, let's do this. I love doing this quest with Deacon in particular. I think it has, it, it, it ends up being, it ends up, the payoff for me ends up being a little bit better. So we're going to do that. Make our way over there pretty quick. Yeah. yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. There's still like a little hiccup here and there, but man, that one mod was just completely choking things. It's unfortunate because it was, it was kind of neat, but the amount of extra... Uh, overhead it was putting on the engine was just it was ridiculous um yeah i'd really rather not fight raiders now we'll just go this way may still end up fighting the raiders but i'd rather not and there's more civic access good yeah, you just hang out over there buddy cool I just get so tired so quick. 
poor endurance is uh, not is not great. Although we're also getting to the point now, level wise, where boosting endurance really ends up paying dividends for our hit points. Because every time, because your your hit points are a calculation of um, your endurance and your level. And so every time now I will improve my endurance, it's going to go up by literally uh, at least 30. And every and as our levels go up, that's how many hit points we're going to gain just by improving our endurance. It's it's substantial. At lower levels, I don't really think about improving the uh, endurance stat all that much. But yeah, once once we get to higher levels, I always think about improving endurance for a... Uh, for a charisma kind of stealth build. I mean, it depends on what I'm doing, of course. I think if I were doing a survival run, I would probably lean much more towards uh, being combat effective. A lot of perception, a lot of endurance in that type of a build. And just not worry as much about the speech checks. Here's our rotten landfill. Here we go. <laughs> that looks like a settler. That doesn't look like one of my provisioners. And it doesn't look like a raider. Yeah, they look okay. Right? Yeah, you're one of my provisioners. <laughs> And our destination is just over there. Yep, literally just over there. That settlement that we can kind of see in the crosshairs. We are not far. That's not a good Damn it. I walked too close to a fucking rad barrel, didn't I? Didn't even see it. There we go. That's how you time that, Seraph. Oh, we got some merchants. Oh, and provisioner of mine. <laughs> yeah, two caravan guards. I wonder who's in this area. So yeah, this wonderful little settlement is well armed. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up and comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a dock that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, What's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? <laughs> I'm new to the area. What do you mean by undesirables? You don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Since. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Just take the test pass and you can come inside where everything's safe all right sure good take a seat and we can begin and of course there's a camera right there <laughs> so anybody who's played so fallout 3 this is going to sound a little familiar you are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened. 
but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? <laughs> Lop it off at the joint, right? <laughs> I lead the boy to safety, then turn him over to someone in charge. Very curious. Congratulations. Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? <laughs> then cauterize the wound with fire. <laughs> I give her whatever she wants to spare his life. Mm. Typical class B. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. And you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd trade for a cherry bomb and blow it open. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh, no. Huh. You've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? <laughs> Some of these are really fa funny. Duh. But I dose myself with anti-mutagen agent. Ignoring possible. Yes. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Have a good one, sir. We'll probably raid out to you depending on how long we play. I can't imagine I'll be at it all that long. So we'll probably see you in a little bit. But thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Boom, headshot. Oh man. I'd trade him for one of the comic books. <laughs> hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and Oh, oh, I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. Bam. It never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Covenant. For a new settlement, it's looking pretty good. I've been meaning to pay a visit. <laughs> That's actually really ironic that Deacon mentions that here. Oh, dog meat's in his way. He'll eventually pass to it. There you go. <laughs> he managed to figure it out. Welcome to Covenant. Head on in. Any shop is usually the first stop. Which is funny that Deacon dislikes it because he hasn't even checked this place out yet. See, so yeah, we could talk to anybody. He came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw him, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. Caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, look at that. He's going to come over and talk to us. <clears throat> you from around here? God, I hope not. <laughs> not enough of these hicks. Nope, I'm just passing through. My advice is pass through sooner than later. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Oh, well, I thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. We're here playing Fallout. Feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content. We're friendly. We're doing what I affectionately call the Blade Runner quest at the moment. <laughs> you gonna answer? No, I... I can't say that I do. I just can't catch a break. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. If I help you. I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. 
Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. There we go. And now we begin with, with Human Error. This is one of my favorite quests of the game. Uh, so now let's just talk to some random people here. <laughs> Another newcomer. Welcome. <laughs> so we need to talk to some people. After a long day, nothing beats Deezer's lemonade. Hey, Deezer. Fresh lemonade here. I'll take some. Enjoy. Now we begin to investigate. So we mentioned a caravan went up here, so let's just rule out possibilities, right? We'll cruise up. <laughs> the lemonade pairs well with Deezer's nuts. <laughs> yeah. So my own hypothesis is that Deezer's lemonade is urine. I, I can't prove that, but where else in the Commonwealth? Did I go too far north? Yep, I went too far north. Uh, but where else in the Commonwealth are you going to get lemons? Oops. Good, I, got, I stayed far away from that. And it would be a totally typical Fallout thing for Deezer to just recycle, uh, recycle that and just flavor it. <laughs> oh, look at that! The caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. Ah, the time-honored tradition of looting. Deezer's lemonade, huh? Caravan definitely stopped in Covenant. So now that we've ascertained that Honest Dan is right in that uh, the, car the caravan definitely went to Covenant, let's head back there. Gee, Seraph, quit going so close to those barrels. I'm amazed I didn't get irradiated there. Now we'll talk to some people and see if we can't figure something out. <laughs> Kitty! We're going to search Covenant for clues. I think we can even tell him we found the They're caravan. Hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Just wait till they start selling fudge, right? We'll talk later. Oh. Hi. Talia. Oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. Uh, things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. You sound pretty handy. I don't want to be a burden. You're going to like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Do you have time for some questions? If it'll help, sure. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Synths? I, I mean, no. The test makes sure that none of those get in here. They promised. Swanson told me the test isn't perfect. An honest Dan is acting real suspicious. You think Dan is one of them? He, he has been asking a lot of questions about the caravan. Dan all but told me he's working for the Institute. I don't want him to hurt you or your friends. Oh my god, oh my god! If he finds out about the survivors in the compound, then everything could be ruined. Oh, I have to go tell someone. <laughs> oh boy. He is a character. It's good to see a new face around here. <clears throat> Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. 
Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. I appreciate the hospitality. For people yeah, the place does look too good to be true. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Thanks for the warning. Just being a good host. You have a good stay now. And uh, everybody else now is at this point going to sleep. Yeah, and I can't, you can't go, even go in the guest yeah. house. That's a serious lock. We need to find a key. Let's hope someone's been careless. <laughs> that was uh, a little glitched, wasn't it? Uh, did it say? Okay, yep, this is a bed we can sleep in. Jacob Warden's password. We're not going to need that. We're not going to need that either. But I am going to need Jacob Orton to fucking move away from the front of his fucking house. So, fine. Let's... We'll sleep. That way Jacob moves. Hopefully, things will get... Hopefully, he'll move out of the frickin' way. Uh, yay, lovely rain. Alright, there's Jacob Orton. So I need to get inside this house. Oh, that was convenient. Meaning oh. no offense, but I got a mountain of work to do. That's fine, Ted. Keep going. As long as we're hidden, we're okay. Well, that was quick. Ted better get on this pronto. Thankfully, this guy does not react to me being in here. <laughs> Hell, I don't even know if he noticed me in here. That was pretty crazy. But yeah, let's close that door. That's let's... some serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. Now, I could have grabbed Jacob Orton's password, but... All right, simulated. Surrounded. Nice. Yep, perfect. Personnel files. So we could get... <laughs> treats our mission as seriously as I do. If only we could do something about his wife. Mention senses undesirables. Altercation with M. Bell. Sometimes it feels she cares about running our store more than our goals. Watson. We can basically just get Jacob's notes about the people around here. Clearly he's a little paranoid and keeps uh, reports on literally every one of the people that lives here. Um... Supposed strictly from the part from the community. Anyway, uh, Talia, visitors comment on our nervousness and jumpiness. It's very compassionate. Could that be a problem? Uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah, she's just twitchy in general. Fisherman report draft. Mr. Huntley has aborted five compound runs due to a fisherman name unknown who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines' pond. Mr. Huntley reports his new favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. Stockton retrieval team is almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend. All right, so now we have a better idea. What's going on? All right, so now we just go over. Where's Dan? There you are, buddy. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? Oh boy, did we! They took the survivors to a compound. And we're in business. I'll meet you there, and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. <laughs> Jacob. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. If only that were true. Use your best judgment, friend. So the funny part is if you keep talking to him, he will offer you a bribe, uh, if I remember correctly, to betray Dan. We're not going to do that. Fuck that guy. 
So yeah, we know about the caravan that showed up here. Most of them died, but some survivors were brought, thanks to that fisherman's report, over there. So now we're just going to cruise over there. And really get to the bottom of some of the Covenant high strangeness. Yeah, there's a lot more sus going on there than just Deezer's Lemonade. <laughs> Someone's having a firefight over there. Probably Dan. Wonder what the hell he got into a fight for. Oh, Rad Scorpion. <laughs> well, that Rad Scorpion's fucked. I saw the tail of it very briefly. Man, that sunrise is beautiful. <laughs> All right, so there's uh oh, there's the fisherman. <laughs> this is one of those really interesting, um, poignant moments where you get two people met their end uh, when the bombs dropped here. Hey, boy. All right, let's do this. Hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Oh boy. Fighting is code. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? I just want answers about Stockton's caravan. Nothing more. I'll take you to see Dr. Chambers. She'll know what to do about you. <laughs> You've been warned. And so the cool part. Pockets, enemies are always the last place you look. And so the cool part here is we can kind of get a lay of the land first, just by him walking us through here, rather than having to figure out where we're going in a firefight. Blight. Hey, Blight. Torture. If someone real we are like sick. That, just give me the signal. Yes. Like what is it, man? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes. The interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. So this part ends up being a little tedious because we just got to follow this guy. But then, who boy, do things get interesting at the end of this little journey. But yeah, what a creepy compound. When paranoia takes over. Welcome this, in the this in particular is the really useful part about the speech check. Hey, extend the platform. Showed up on our doorstep. What was I supposed to do? Probably shoot us. That was probably his job. <laughs> Fortunately, I've got a silver tongue and I can talk my way past anything. All right, instead of constantly juking forward, let's just turn off Strange. the run. You're the first outsider that's been in here. Those helmets look familiar now, don't they? Uh, dog meat. Come on, Manny. Let's do this. There we go. Stranger. At this point, I want the run to be on. And here we go. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a sea? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. I'd prefer a peaceful solution. 
As would I. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? And you're already starting to get an idea of what may have happened here. I've been there, but I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? A war, really? Is it that bad? Hundreds of kidnappings over the years. Ask the survivors if it's really that bad. And there are so many other tragedies that may be their responsibility as well. You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth. But the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high. Four or five false positives per synth. But one day we hope to get it to one of two false positives. That is crazy. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me. I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. <laughs> That's a deal I won't accept. Damn straight. Then you'll just have to kill me. We live to fight <laughs> and night and day, etc. etc. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm some sort of sensor. We were having such a good firefight. God, don't look. Intruder must be eliminated. <laughs> Man. Blowing their heads off never gets old. <laughs> I will take that bottle cap mine. Definitely take 44 ammo. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I can positively feel the science oozing around here. It's all right. You're safe now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. Gee, it's totally a synth. <laughs> I believe you. I just want this nightmare to end. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Yeah, Please. sometimes the camera gets a little wonky. There it is. Almost. There it is. Sweet. Oh, thank 
goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. I did more than half the work on this job. My share should reflect that. There's some truth to that. 60-40 work for you. Yeah, that's fine. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, you can talk him into 90-10, uh, but the dude's cool. I'm not going to completely rip him off. Let's get some more XP by picking a better lock. And Deacon loved the shit out of a lot of that, so we may end up... I'm going to talk to him and see if we... Oh, come on. Man. There we go. Got it. Yes. There it is. That is what I was looking for. He usually doesn't like when I pick locks, though. But that's fine. Hey. What's the word? Hey. I, I got something important to say. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. The truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a... Friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is... I'm a fraud, to my core. When I was young, a, a hell of a long time ago, I was, well, scum. I was a bigot, a very violent bigot. Hey, Deep Fry, welcome. Good to see you. How's your weekend going so far? Were you really that bad? Worse than that. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a simp. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claws leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the simp. Looking back, I'm not so sure. I'll withhold judgment until you finish. Thanks. So I turned my back on my brothers, broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was... She just was. <laughs> if you're telling the truth, you didn't deserve her. <laughs> she sounds special. Being with her made me feel like the whole world had a chance. That one day we could climb out of this wreckage. She could do that to people. We were trying for kids. Eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara, she was a simp. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the death clause found out, but there was blood. Shit. I'm sorry. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. After what happened to my family? I can understand. I thought you might. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Dez, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. Everyone's got a past. The important thing is you're trying to make up for it. I'm still on your side. I'm not the hugging type. So, yeah. Good talk. Excellent. That is perfect. What a perfect exclamation point for this quest to get Deacon's Perk, Cloak and Dagger. 
right at the conclusion of this. That is, that I couldn't have scripted that any better. That is awesome. We'll get some quick XP. We'll fight our way out. Damn straight. I don't think there's anything of very. Uh, I already have those. Let's take that. I don't think there's anything else of any real use here. I think we're good here. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <coughs> All right, yep, perfect. And now we fight our way out. Although, could stealth it. Mm hmm. Man, that never gets old. Explodey, explodey. Um, I'm trying to remember now. Various. I'm trying to remember this compound here. Okay, this is the way we actually came down. What just happened? Let's see what goes. Let's see what's down this way. Don't mean to make you nervous, but. I don't think we're alone. Really, Deacon? You don't just figured that out? Ah, yes. Perfect. Cool. We don't have to go work our way around this whole thing. There it is. Oh, it was so close. All right, Darkstar, have a good one, man. Good to see you as always. I'll catch up with you later, man. care of this. Good old Blythe. Like so this is interesting. Congratulations, you've made one of Vault 101 baseball teams. So interesting that they would have that. Let's get a 12 baseline. I'm looking for here <clears throat> and sorry to bog this down but I think it's an interesting revelation and maybe it was in the computer here stored messages they're concerned about some of the covenant stuff retrieval team I mean, it's a mistake cannot dispute this the therapy mission comes must come first okay yeah that's not what I was looking for. I feel like it was in that room, but all right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about um, what I was kind of trying to find, but wasn't able to find uh, in that room. But um, so much of the safe test reveals that since we'll answer, there really isn't a this hollow tape really isn't around anywhere. All right, fine. Oh, I'll take the vault. Yeah, now nah, I'll be the vault. Yeah. Vault take that. Go. We'll take that. Um. So since answer the baseball team question differently than human beings do. And the uh, option that uh, identifies them as a synth, you don't even have that option. Come on, dog meat. Don't get in that way. Uh, which is interesting uh, for a variety of reasons. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, apparently when they ask get asked the baseball team question... They always ask, they always answer in a very specific way. 
And so that's how the safe, that's, uh, that's the current iteration of the safe test. And so Dr. Chambers has uh, kind of figured that part out, which is interesting. And it is interesting that when you realize what uh, the answer is, I think it is uh, pretty funny that you don't even get the dialogue option to answer that correctly. It's also why Swanson asks, are you sure about that with that particular question? And so now we get the very more, now we're going to kind of end stream with a little bit of blammo. <laughs> Cause yeah, I could definitely go for some dinner now. I'm getting pretty hungry. But before that, we're going to work ourselves up a little extra appetite. <laughs> Ooh, there's a provisioner, or is there a? Oh, it's one of my provisioners. That's okay. This unit is currently in unit remaining in factory default mode. Yeah, thank you. Here's a fun part. This is a great sniper weapon. We got fun time incoming. Damn it. Got it that time, fuckers. Of course, at this distance, they're really not doing a whole lot to me. I heard something. You almost got away. Ah. Uh, all right. <laughs> that never gets old. That last fucking turret. Enough out of you. Couple of more turrets, then we'll be done. Nope, not you. You're not getting me, buddy. You were hiding back here? Hey. Oh. Dog meat, get out of the way, buddy. Anything interesting on him? The cool part is you could keep Deezer. He just watches all this shit unfold. He's like, well, they had it coming. <laughs> you can actually make this your own settlement. The problem with that is everything is still owned. Kitty! Ah, Swanson. He has an electrified Chinese officer sword. Who the fuck is that? Kelly? Guess my good karma's paying off. Yeah, no shit. You came at the, the right time, hey. I guess. Hey, I got a question for you. I've got a really top tier piece of cow flesh for sale, if you know what I mean. Is this Brahmin really? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's stolen or something? <laughs> Ah, she's mine. Of course she's mine. Could be yours, too, for a very reasonable price. Well, thank you, Deep Price. Sorry, I was getting in the middle of that in that fucking firefight, so it took you a second. But yeah, it has been a fun stream. Uh, gave me a stream over the last couple. And gave me a stream over the last couple. Um, I've been playing Fallout for a little while. Um, nah, I don't need a Brahmin. I don't need a Brahmin. Oh, okay, sure. I feel you. Maybe later, then. 
Yeah, I haven't exactly streamed a whole lot this week. This week was a little busy, um, you know, with Cleo not feeling her best. Um, I'll take that tin can, because why not? Uh, yeah, now we now we loot the bodies. <laughs> oh man. Take all that. Dog meat, you're in the way, buddy. Okay. So yeah, that was uh Oh, and we'll take this map to compound. So I could have pickpocketed that off of him, theoretically. Okay, so I think this is a good place to wrap up so let's save yeah we'll save always got to wipe out covenant because i want to do that now rather than forgetting about it happen to come across here and then all of a sudden the entire town of covenant tries to come and kill me i've done that once in a playthrough that wasn't super fun um i did save right yes i did save it's literally right there okay yeah it's not necessary okay so let's see uh tomorrow my plan will be to play more East 4, uh, Memories of Silsetta tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night. That's uh, that's going to be my objective. Ooh, we got a really nice uh, sun sunset behind me. And so, uh, but yeah, my, my Seraph's stomach has decided that uh, I need to eat. And so uh, that's that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, let's let's raid Freakbot. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, fucking thing. The damn thing, it just started an ad right as I started raiding. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the ad notification on that. Don't bother raid. Oh, equip for the night? All right. Well, then let's do that. All right, so let's let's do that. Hey, let's raid Darkstar and let's see what's going on. Now that my, uh, sorry about that. Sorry for the ad break to start right as I started that. But, uh, let's do this. Let's do ZH Dark Star. Do that. Ah, oh, he's playing more Shining Force 3. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. All right. So, uh, let's start this raid. Let's get this, let's get this started. Oh my goodness. This thing is such, such, <laughs> this, this new interface is truly wretched. It used to be a much better interface. But yeah, uh, more East 4 tomorrow night. And uh, let's let's hang out with Darkstar in the meantime, and I will see you guys all approximately later. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and uh, until next time, ciao.